Did he tab? I tagged uh, you both on YouTube, by the way. I don't know if y'all saw that. I saw it once I went to the stream. I don't think you get a notification of that, though. I'm really not don't see sure. It. Okay. Hang on. Let me check. Let me also check something on YouTube real quick because I want to make sure that this is doing right. I couldn't. You're live, but I want to make sure. What the flying French toast is this thumbnail? <laughs> oh my. Hey, my brother in Christ, didn't you make the thumbnail? <laughs> I did it. I did, but no, 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 not, not, not the. No, the, the problem is, it's not the thumbnail that I made. I spent so much time oh. coloring our faces, making it beautiful, fucking getting PNGs of your guys' heads and shit, and then it's, it's just... <laughs> that um, and everything. Hold on, it's just the fucking YouTube being YouTube. French toast. Is... Hold on. Um, Clark Clint Gaming, edit video. Okay, I'm just gonna have to do this. Oh my god. Alright, hold on. Chat, bear with us. Technical difficulties, per usual. Imagine. Check Imagine out YouTube this live podcast. Did the uh, collider already come into the air today? Uh, wait, what? Did the, uh, sorry, Sir, this is a family stream. I don't know what the off. fuck you think you're doing, <laughs> but I need you to watch your mouth, alright? <laughs> Did the collider do a dookie into did the, the collider air? bust a nine on the Oh, it did. God day. damn it. You know, I saw you wanted to record it live for your records. <laughs> no, I just want to see it, man. It looks so cool. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a wild fucking podcast, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Hold on. Where am I? Where's the thumbnail? <laughs> oh, my bro, God. You suck. Bro, don't, bro, don't you fucking start with me right now, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Boop. All right. Save. W. All right. That'll work. Zero point po Okay, uh, let me do a quick intro here. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Actually, you know what I should do, too? Um, actually, I should probably hit the record button for OBS. That way I can take clips of this and make... Fuck. I'm not nervous or anything. Oh, fucking shit. Hold on. <laughs> Hang on. Wait, no, no, no. Don't load it. Fuck. I can't do anything right today. Hold on. Settings. Let me turn this music off, bro. That's audio. And apply. Put that down. Okay. All right. Let me see. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> ah, that's, that's better. better. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a special occasion. See, for years, for years I have been playing Fortnite. At least 10, 10 years I've been playing Fortnite. And in that amount of time, I have seen copious amounts of bullshit on this game. Okay. With that being said, for the first time in the history of humankind, we will be addressing all of the bullshit. Not just me, but the two fine gentlemen I have with me. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you, first and foremost, the Zero Point Podcast, hosted by yours truly, and my two special guests this evening. Let me Let's get started. Let's go. Wait, why is the game not? Oh, my God. Load the game, OBS. Jeez. <laughs> my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> was not showing your game the whole time? No, I knew that I wasn't showing the game. I was trying to. I was trying to. I wanted it on the starting screen, but it just when I actually went to the game screen, the game wasn't loaded. <laughs> Shut up, JoJo. I'm doing the intro. Damn it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is JoJo Zaya. <laughs> he What's is up? the first of my two guests that I will be introducing this evening, JoJo. Say hello to the audience. Peace Hi, out. how y'all doing? No, okay, shut the fuck up. All right. Now, All right. <laughs> we also have uh, young Dagwami, good associate of the podcast. Well, Dag, say what's up to everybody, bro. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? How, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are going to be talking about Fortnite Chapter... Well, well, Fortnite Chapter 3, Season 2. God, I always, I always get the seasons and the chapters and shit mixed up, bro. It's just, it's just too much. Anyway, <laughs> we're talking about Fortnite Season 2 specifically. We're going to go from start to finish over our favorite and least favorite things about this season. We have I have a, a host of different topics I wanted to talk about tonight. Um, but before we do that, I want to give these two gentlemen the floor for a moment. I'm going to start with JoJo. JoJo, would you like to explain to the audience who you are for those who might watch the recording later who might not know you? Just give a brief summary of yourself and your content. 
Okay. Um, I am Jojo Josiah. I'm a Twitch streamer, YouTuber who focuses on making funny moments, who digs around in the game constantly, and has fun with my friendship. Lit. I like that. Dag, go ahead. Same thing. Yo, what's up? I'm uh, Dag, but you could also call me Dag with me. That's my full name. Weird name, I know. <laughs> um, but I'm a uh, short form content creator on TikTok and YouTube. Uh, pretty make, much make all types of content, news, glitches, mods, a um, whole bunch of stuff. So, yeah, I'm excited to talk about uh, the state of Fortnite. Believe it or not, chat, both of these gentlemen are a very big deal. I'm honored to have them both on. And I think here's the deal. I wanted to invite you both on because I know that we all have our own uh, communities. And I know that sometimes our communities overlap with people and stuff. But the biggest thing is that we all have opinions and thoughts on the game. And I know that for my audience specifically has been asking for a long time for there to be some kind of podcast, a Fortnite podcast where people can just where we can just talk about the state of the game. And I personally have never seen another like dedicated specific Fortnite podcast. So I wanted to give this a shot and invite you two on because you both are very knowledgeable and we all will have our unique perspectives on the game. But I thought what better to do than to have this podcast right before the new season starts. We'll give, like I said, we'll we'll talk about the, the season as a whole, season two. We'll also, at the end, give some predictions. And overall, I just want to have a good time uh, while doing this. And we'll get the, you know, maybe we can get the chat involved as well. So shout out to everybody watching. I know the chat will grow as the evening progresses. So everybody at home watching, just sit back, relax, get comfortable, man. It should be a good time. So with that being said, all introductions out the way. When that gentleman, first thing I wanted to talk about, okay? Just generally speaking, first impressions of season two. So the season started off super weird, in my opinion. Like, we didn't get a lot of promo for it. Like, it was just kind of like, we yeah. were all wondering, like, what the fuck is, like, what's going on, right? And then, mm -hmm. the, I remember, I don't know what y'all were doing, but I remember the night of uh, the, what was it? We Did we even, we didn't even have an end of season event. The, the game just shut down nope. for a few yep. hours, right? <laughs> and we were, yeah. and like, all the leaks were coming out, and then the trailer got leaked and we're like oh shit it's a war theme season and then then, then the whole thing with ukraine and everything going on so what were y'all's bad timing <laughs> yeah right like it's like of all the times that y'all pick a war theme <laughs> season like you do it now like why anyway and they did do the donation thing though that was sick that was that was yeah, dope no. i do have a lot of respect i, I don't for i don't even think it was fortnite's fall it was like they must have planned no, yeah. it months in ahead it was just very unfortunate timing it's probably yeah. like a year in ahead no nope. yeah for sure guys fortnite can obviously predict the future okay i don't know why you don't I don't know. it's just like the simpsons okay Every, you know they just fucking That's know true. what's happening they knew what they were doing You're this right. is what cancel for. fortnite right gosh mustard <laughs> anyway <laughs> uh, i want to know so and anybody can ask first what do you, what were you guys' first impressions of like just seeing like the war theme season like what were your first thoughts about it at first glance mm. all right wait can, can i start with this is that the night of the season dropping mm. so i was i was actually away in california and i wasn't going to be back home to play fortnite for like a whole week mm -hmm. and so like as a content creator who tries to post like consistently like i was i was pretty scared like the night before i was like you know what if it's going to be a great season there's going to be all this new content i'm going to have like you, you know like i'm going to be missing out I was literally, okay, selfishly, the morning of the new season, I was, like, so relieved because I loaded up all, like, the, <laughs> the new map, the leaks, and everything. I was like, not much has changed. Like, there's no new POIs, really. <laughs> like, there's no new, like, guns in no the game. No major changes like, yeah, to Fortnite. Tanks. Nothing crazy happened. <laughs> you know. Yeah, no, so I was literally, like, selfishly relieved because there wasn't even much content to make. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get back, and I'm going to figure it out then. <laughs> Other than zero build, there pretty much was nothing. I mean, <clears throat> what what did we really get at the start of this season? I, like you said, JoJo, outside blimps. of zero build. The blimps were, like, uh, the biggest map change, really. The, I'll, okay, I'll say this is that the one thing I really actually do like about sprint. this season, yeah, yeah, the, the new movement features, I have been using them a ton, and I, I do like them a lot. Mm. That's right, that was out of the season, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. The only thing that we had in at the start of chapter two or ch God chapter three was the sliding, but then this season added yes. the sprinting and the vaulting. Yeah. The yeah the climbing. Mm -hmm. Have y'all? Okay, let me ask y'all this question. Have y'all looked at like some of your old gameplay and be like, "Fuck, like how the hell did no. we play?" I was actually doing that not like <laughs> not that long ago, like a week ago. I was watching some of my old videos. I'm like, "Run, mother!" I was like, "Oh wait, I am." Oh. <laughs> oh. I've got auto sprint on that. Oh, that's how we used to run back in my day. Wow. 
It's crazy. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> everything is moving so slow when looking back on it. That, bro, mm. I just, bro, same thing. I was watching some of my uh, trash old YouTube videos. I was like, dude, not only am I bad at the game, but like I'm moving so damn slow. Like I'm like, why are you not sliding? Why are you not spending saying this? Like, oh yeah, that's right, we can't. Um, <laughs> but how? Let me ask y'all this question: How long have you guys been playing Fortnite? I don't even know how long you guys have been playing the game well, for. I started in season. Um, I think I first played the game like for the very first time in season one or two, and then actually started playing in season three. <clears throat> Wait, oh, you're talking about chapter one, season season three? Yep, yep. Okay, that makes sense. Dag? Yeah. Um. So I've actually, at the time of like Fortnite really popping off, I literally didn't own a PC console like anything so i i first started playing when the uh the beta for mobile was actually first released which was like late season three of chapter one yeah um yeah like i was watching fortnite i'd say since i think i actually first i know this is like kind of cringe to say but i think i discovered fortnite when drake and ninja were streaming together (laughs) 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 but yeah so i've been watching since then but that's when i actually started as uh i was in that stream too Oh, you, got, great, oh, great, oh, you were great, actually great. there. Joe was like, I had a front row seat, actually. <laughs> I mean, there was a fucking, like, a hundred. I, I don't even know. There's so many people there. Dude. Yeah. I, I, I re- See, I, I can say that I got, I've been playing the game since, like, the second week the game actually came out, like, for the BR. So, wow. when I remember when Drake played with Ninja. And, like, everyone, like, then Fortnite became a big deal. I'm like, okay, now all you fucking posers are starting to play my game that I've been enjoying. <laughs> But like right. I remember when the game, like the first month the game was out, I was I was still working at uh, my old airport job, and we and one of my other homies used to work the night shift. He was saying, "Bro, that game will never catch on. Like it, like there are so <laughs> many games that have done the same thing and done it better. Like there's no like Fortnite's not even that. Like it's it's not a it's not a good game." And I'm like, "Okay, dude, Amazing. whatever, you know." But uh, that's crazy. Catches um, anyway, back to the start of this uh, this season though. Um, mm-hmm. The only things. I'm just trying to think, like, for content, like, they're outside of, okay, we got the trailer, we knew, so we had, let's see, let's just think about this for a second, we had tanks added, right, we had a lot of, ve- we had, like, vehicles, the tactical movement, um, and, but the, the biggest disappointment to me about the start of the season is the fact that there was, like, really barely any new weapons added. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, they we kept, like, basic, they, they just took out some of the fun stuff from last season. They took out, like, the heavy shotgun, which I thought was pretty cool. And then they took out um, no the, MK. They took out the MK7, yeah, for a while, and and then they just been slowly um, adding stuff in with the votes this season. But it felt like they they added a few stuff, but they mostly just took away stuff. Took out the heavy shotgun. Ba- yeah. Back, yeah, yeah. The loot pool has just been like, and I know we wanted. To, oh my god, I gotta post a TikTok. The loot pool has been definitely like really trash this season, especially. I'm gonna say this too for it. for competitive. The loot pool for competitive yeah. has been absolute shit. Like, <laughs> I don't understand why. Why can't I have MKs in competitive? You literally had MKs in arena last season, right? But Wait, they're not in competitive. No, you if you load into an arena game right now, you will not see a single MK. Oh, what the hell? Like, I I don't understand. And like uh, other stuff too. Like, you don't have impulses, impulse grenades. Um, the bubble shields never made it in. Like, just the the fun stuff that makes Fortnite Fortnite. Like. I feel like the competitive crowd has just destroyed, like, competitive Fortnite from, like, all the complaining. Like, Epic is afraid to put anything fun, you know, mm-hmm. or in, mm-hmm. in competitive I mean, whatsoever. I'm fine with them keeping the loot pools separate, but they need to make it more competitive still. Like, the SMGs and the the shotguns, they they, they just do nothing. Like, the, the SMGs are annoying, spammy, and OP. And then the shotguns are, like, underpowered and fuck and they take forever to shoot i don't know i just feel like the weapons i feel like the loot pools could be different and they just need to make the the comp loot pool like more competitively like the pump and scar should just be in the game always and competitive i feel like like the default yeah i don't i see both sides because like on one hand like if you're a competitive player and you're actually like you know playing for like thousands and thousands of dollars each season yeah. like you you don't want to be you know like shock waved off high ground you know you don't want some of those crazy items that are fun to watch and they're and they're fun to play with at least in arena but for like the best of the best tournaments i can see like the perspective of like competitive com- yeah. players complaining um the only thing is though that's how competitive used to be like competitive used to I mean, be yeah that way yeah, with like a lot of the so stuff. much since then world's cup 
is a great example of like i mean everyone always praises the world's cup but if you look back it was one of the craziest was... like metas yeah and also people were so bad at the game then like they just like everyone <laughs> right. everyone's so much better now you no peace control like, yeah yeah no one's building that much i want to you know speaking of no building let's talk about zero builds for a second because that was one of the the other main talking points i had because that was that was the big thing that was added this season i want to get your guys's like general opinions on zero builds just to start this conversation off um dag what what was like when you first saw zero builds in the game like what was your feelings towards it i feel like my feelings have changed a lot since then i was an initially very reluctant to the idea and mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like the reason why I got into Fortnite from the very beginning was because of building. Like I was on mobile yeah. where it literally like building was impossible and still is what like brought me to the game. Right. Um, and, and it's always just what made Fortnite unique. So for them to like, I don't know, it felt like they were putting the needs of zero builds and, and it's sort of been this way, like half, like even throughout the season, like they're putting the needs of zero build above like the regular mode. Mm -hmm. But I, I I initially thought like I wouldn't have fun like my aim is like kind of iffy, um, I'm more I'd, I'd consider myself more of like a, a creative player, mm. um, but after I got back from like that vacation like I actually started playing it and I don't know it's actually kind of fun you know it's like a, a different experience of the game it's nice to take a break from all the sweaty modes at, at times and yeah yeah I, I I mean I also originally thought like the Fortnite map couldn't support zero builds like, you know like it feels like you would just be running in the open getting beamed right. which that still does happen but they have added like you know little little like things here and there you can hide behind we have cow it, it catchers guys cow catchers, cow catchers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no not that but you know it hasn't been too bad in terms of like the actual <clears throat> gameplay over shield makes it obviously pretty yeah, good like over shield a lot over shield is a w for zero builds did you have something else you wanted to add Dave? No, I mean, that's pretty much it. What was your original opinion about it? Well, I want to see what JoJo thought, and I'll give my thoughts to after after that. But um, just, okay. hmm. yeah. my, my initial thoughts were kind of similar. I was a little bit more down for it. I, I was definitely worried. I, I, um, mostly because, like, I was worried that build modes were just going to become solely sweaty, and so you're just going to be forced to play no build if you're trying to have a good time whatsoever. Mm -hmm. And then if you get sick of no build, the only option is to play like like uber mega cringe sweat uh, normal games, mm -hmm. pubs. And, and then uh, I, I started realizing I think it's not that bad. Um, like, it's not it, it wasn't as bad as I thought the separation was going to be. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I guess my hope is that, like, if they keep zero build in for the future, they give people a reason to want to, like, play both modes. So right. either have, like, like, overshield's a good start for zero build, but normal modes, just having building, it, it brings in everyone who wants to crank, basically. So mm. if they could bring in, like, I don't know a fun new mechanic to normal build modes that's not in zero build or something like that i don't know I, I i think that would help i think adding having two separate loot pools between builds and zero builds would be a, a big game changer like, i think e that i think that could be huge too yeah even down to the weapon types like you know if we had more even like some maybe more og weapons in one mode and then more of the newer weapons in the other mode i think that would be good um like even stuff like for example, I'm I'm a little upset that we didn't get bubble shields, personally mm -hmm. like added to to zero build like permanently added. I don't know how the flying French toast. I made a video on this yesterday. How did we how did we choose balloons over bubble shields? Bro, I know I know exactly how. Dude. You know wait you know <laughs> bro, how how dude, tell me. Okay. They won because they're better. Not... No, shut bro, the fuck up, they, Jojo. They... No, they're not. You're trash. No, they're not. Well, go ahead, Dag. win then, huh, bitch? No, no. <laughs> the, these votes, as much as, like, you would like to think, like, people are actually thinking about them, you have to think about a little kid going into the game, yeah. seeing balloons versus this random item that they probably don't even know what it does. You know, like, they just pick the shiny object, and, th and that's what wins. Like, so I mean, in, in, re in reality, I feel like that's what happens. <laughs> 
I, I yeah. Better. But it's JoJo. I, I know you're trolling. <laughs> Bro, balloons are literally cheap versions of jetpacks. With is they're like yeah, jetpacks with I'm less just saying, there's control. There's no reason we should have both. With less control, exactly. I, yeah. just, I just don't. I just I don't understand this community sometimes. So if you look, if you're in my chat right now, you voted for balloons. Shame on you. Okay, you should be disappointing. I mean, you you're uninstall the game. Balloons, balloons as a base item are more fun than shield bubbles. Shield bubbles no. are purely like tactical. No, it's defensive. Yes. What's it fun is. about a shield bubble? Be throw I can the throw that BZ that in the back of a pickup truck and drive around with my friends and <laughs> run people over. That's what's fun. Oh, yeah, I'm getting no beamed one in the does middle of the that with shield bubbles. Okay. No one does that. Are you kidding me, bro? So the the first the, listen, the first day that I saw them back in the game, I'm like, is that a fucking shield bubble on the back of a pickup? That's a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? I didn't even get a chance to use it because they weren't exactly. in the game long enough. <laughs> But exactly. I saw hella people run that it. strat. I don't know. But but why did balloons win then? Because they're trash. And the community's <laughs> stupid. Because <laughs> <That's laughs> they're shiny. Um, that's because they're just as a base item. Even like not they people aren't considering like the loot pool or the game modes. Just as a base item are more fun than shield bubbles. Are just like like it's back. You know how they put the boogie bomb against the combat shotgun. Mm -hmm. Like, people are going to want the actual gun. Yeah. And the actual thing that, like, kind of is fun to use. Boogie bombs are fun, mm -hmm. but, like, a shotgun's going to win all day. Ninja was Any so shotgun. disappointed when the boogie bombs didn't, didn't get uh, unvaulted. Yeah. I wanted the boogie bomb, too, but it was, it was just not a fair matchup. Speaking of Ninja, let me ask y'all this question, too, right? And this is going back to the conversation of Zero Build. So, like... When y'all when y'all were seeing, well, for, let me ask you this question first. Did you notice when the bigger content creators were all against builds all of a sudden, like everybody was, like all hyped over no builds? Yeah, yeah, yeah they did a complete one eighty. Like, <laughs> how do y'all? How did y'all feel when you saw it? When you saw that, like Cipher, Ninja, Tifu, Nick Merks, everybody's like, oh my god, zero builds is the greatest thing to happen to Fortnite. All everybody was saying that, and I'm like, y'all, you OGs uh... made your careers off of being sweaty build players. I don't, I don't get that. Amazing. I just think it was more relaxing for them. I didn't think I, it, I didn't think much of it to be honest. I think from a streamer's perspective, it makes sense. It's like if you want to like just kind of vibe with your chat and I don't know, get you can still get high, high kill like games right. in in no build, and it doesn't even take much skill. Th those are guys like Tifu, like who have like insanely good aim. He can just run around killing everybody. Right. Um. But. Yeah, well, didn't Ninja make some sort of statement that like n zero build should be like the main mode or something? Yeah, didn't he say that? Uh, yeah, he yeah he we... wanted yeah Ninja didn't want Ninja thought that they should take builds out entirely. I think he had made a comment like if it were up to me, the there would be no more building in Fortnite. Um, and yeah, that's too far. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's the thing. It's just like I. I felt like when to answer Dag's question he asked me earlier, my opinion on it when it first came out, I was. I wasn't against the idea of having that mode, but like you guys, I was very apprehensive about the concept of like if, if it's staying permanently because I was afraid yeah. that it was going to split the community. Like you're going to have mm -hmm. to like, and I felt like yep. there's going to be a point where Epic was going to have to choose between whether or not they focused on zero builds or builds because you're going to have one player base dominate the other over time. Um, I yeah. do. And wait, go ahead. Go ahead. This, this just, this, this just gave me like a, a great, a great thing I was thinking about was like, okay, I, I don't know if you guys were a fan of this season, but the the water season, chapter two, season yeah. three, I think it was yeah. like I, I personally was like a fan of that. I like when Fortnite does like weird stuff with like the map, and I, like and I, I was thinking about this the other day. I was like, with with zero build, Epic would literally never do that again because like everyone swimming around in the water, yeah, not being yeah. able to build, it just literally wouldn't work. So having this as a permanent game mode is definitely gonna affect you know the way things are going forward. Yeah, that's true, because it definitely limits what you can do with this game. Like, this game, even the map, is designed for building. And it's like, mm -hmm. the, the other thing that gets me about that, too, is, is, like, your player base that you've had for four, four and a half years that's taken the time, dedicated themselves to building, you're kind of just trashing on them. And I understand, like, that the bigger content creators, the OGs of Fortnite, like, they they had their feelings on it. They They felt strongly about taking it out, but it's like... Guys, that's what makes the game the game. Like, this is what makes Fortnite stand out. I, you know, I don't know if I agree with this anymore, but I had originally said that I, I don't think that the Fortnite was unique enough 
without building to to stand out mm. from from other games and I, I think that there is, is still some uniqueness to it, like just the weapon pool, like the boogie bombs, the the bubble shield, stuff like that. But then again, some of those weapons aren't even exclusive to Fortnite. I guess, you know, Fortnite's just a, if you take building out, Fortnite is just at its bare bones a cartoony third person shooter. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I think that's a, a big part of the appeal, though, is like the graphics and skins like is like a big majority of what like ultra casuals care about mm -hmm. like yeah like i don't know if you yeah like if you've gone on like casual twitter like all they talk about is like skins, skins. Mm -hmm. yeah. meanwhile like i'm over here like i'm mostly focused on like personally like the gameplay and like map aspects of the game but right. to some to some people if there's a great battle pass that'll make or break their entire season right there. yeah i have many friends who like if there's no good skins in the season they don't play i'm like what <laughs> that's wild <laughs> literally you know, uh, but I think it's a lot of people. You'd be I, surprised, yeah. I, I want to actually, you know, here's the thing. I want to talk about skins later. That's another big topic that I wanted to talk to you guys about, like battle passes, mm -hmm. skins, and all that. We we're gonna get to that in a minute, but um, yeah, that's I you know I never really looked. See, I don't know enough casual players to really understand how they look at the game. Um, one thing that was perpetuated over and over again um, when Zero Builds came out was, oh. The problem with builds is that it's it's too much of a barrier to entry for new players. And I was calling BS on that because I know specifically in my community, there were a bunch of there are a bunch of kids, uh, young adults in my community that started this game back in chapter two, season two, chapter two, season six. And I remember even in chapter one, like season 10, I'm like, man, if anybody has to learn how to play Fortnite now, that would suck because it's just so competitive. <laughs> but people were figuring yeah. it out mid chapter two. Like I find it crazy that you that you're trying to tell me that people don't want to put in the effort to learn how to build. That's what makes the game I think, rewarding. I think it, it yeah, it is rewarding, but it's if you look at it from more of like a like Epic wants to appeal to the widest possible audience. Right. And there is a lot of people who I think are now playing the game for the first time and liking it way more now that zero builds a thing. That is true. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I, I think that. that's a good thing um but i am like concerned at how they're gonna handle both modes going forward if they can if they keep zero building and one thing that i do think that i didn't see i didn't see this happening but zero build has actually made normal build modes a lot less sweaty i think because yes. people are forgetting how to build yeah genuinely <laughs> like when i go into normal build games I'm not building like half the fucking game and I don't realize because I've played so much zero build. Same. Dude, I've had that happen. It's like the weirdest experience. You're like, oh wait, I can actually build? Like what? <laughs> yeah. You realize you can actually build and then I feel like it, it's putting people more, like personally, it's putting me more in a place where like I'm running around not like cranking as much and then, but like when I have to build, I will build. Mm -hmm. And so like it makes people, yeah. It, yeah, it makes people not, It's. I feel like it's, making people forget to like people were i mean before zero build people were just cranking constantly yeah. regardless of like if they were getting shot at or not yeah so uh, i think i think it's a positive thing but also there is there could be negatives that might like if they you know cut the community in half or if they don't fix this goddamn loot pool <laughs> <laughs> you know what right. Let, let's let's get into that somewhat <laughs> let's let's talk so this is why i want to introduce this con concept because i i know we all we all feel very passionately about the loot pool. Everyone here in this podcast, everybody watching on stream. But this is what I wanted to start off with. This is a question, gentlemen. Do you think, okay, JoJo, I want you, I'm going to have you answer first. Do you think Fortnite had good updates this season? And if so, why, if, like, why not? Why not? Um, did they have good updates this season? Just in general? Yeah, just in general. Um... I would say there was like a few good updates. But which ones were you, most which part, ones did you like the most? Like what were your favorite up like what updates did you actually like? Well, they brought back the Flint Knock for a week, like two weeks ago. That was fucking amazing. I love the Flint Knock so much. God. <laughs> it's the best gun in the game. W Um That was fun. I, I like uh I mean, I'm not into like the story stuff, but they've been doing a lot with like the voice lines and so and the characters sorry, the and all that. Did you just come in my podcast? I don't care about the fucking Fortnite story. 
Are you I care about yeah, yeah. I care about the story. I don't care about the quests. You... I'll say that. I like the okay, story. I don't like doing. Statement. I don't like <laughs> doing challenges. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. No, no. I watch your TikToks all the time about the story, and I'm like, okay, now I don't have to play. You know, the stupid quests. That I don't to do. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I'd no. say it's definitely been mid tier, like as far as updates go. What do you think, Dad? A lot of the updates were just like recycled content. It felt like. Yeah. Exactly. I mean. I don't know. It, it's been okay. Like, well, l- let me start from the beginning. So I guess we had like the the anvil launcher, which personally I, I still find useless. It kind of ruined opening up like those IO yeah, chests for me. Sucks. Wait, the what? You launcher? know, like, the anvil the anvil launcher. launcher, the yeah. one that targets the cars. Yeah. Oh wait, is that what you know the thing's? Are you talking about the rocket launcher? Yeah, it's the rocket yeah. launcher. It's called the anvil. Launcher. Oh, is that what they call yeah. that piece of shit? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Exactly. Yeah. No, that that was like pretty useless. They brought back jetpacks, which was pretty fun. There's lots of like different combos you can kind of do with jetpacks, but mm-hmm. obviously that's kind of just a recycled update. Um, we did get the Ranger shotgun, and I'm always kind of interested. Like, I like when Fortnite tries to put in like a new shotgun and tries to like change the meta a bit. But yeah. when you have that going against two different types of SMGs <laughs> SMG. in the meta, the drum yeah. shotgun, it just becomes so like watered down and useless, and like. Yep. Yeah, it, it was. It's clunky too. Like I didn't. I really don't and enjoy also, picking it, it up. It hits for like one thirty headshot. It's not enough damage. You just get shredded by an SMG any day of the week. <sighs> you know that my my heart hurts so bad when it comes to the shotgun meta because it's like I remember the good old days when you could be. 20 yards away from a person and snipe them with your pump you know <laughs> my god like those were those were the good old days right back in my day but like now it's just i feel like you know this, i said this comment on stream the other day it does not make sense to me that i can put hmm. my shotgun in someone's teeth and they're still alive after i shoot them why is it that epic is afraid of shotguns doing a significant amount of damage they like the spray meta hmm is so trash whether it's builds or zero builds like it takes there's a huge component of the skill aspect of the game that's just destroyed and then like i remember when dag when you came out with your video about um oh god my brain just my brain just farted for a second when you Um, came you came with a video about how the the pump shotgun the damage got nerfed um, yeah. To and the gold is now just 185 that tells me that it's probably going to come back sometime next season but hopefully yeah. hopefully but it's but if they do that it's going to be <clears throat> like we can't one shot anybody with a shotgun but it's like that's the purpose of the shotgun i have to risk more of my ass <laughs> to kill you so why am i not getting a why can i not like clips i understand like shotguns not being able to do like 350 damage like they used to be able to okay fine but like if i'm really if i have really good Amazing. aim with a shotgun a why should i not be boobies. able to just like one pump somebody I, I feel like I don't even really necessarily want one pumping back so much as like the shotguns are just outclassed by spray. Mm. It, it like it's not even close to to being fair. If you have if they have an SMG and they don't miss their shots, you will die even if you have a, a shotgun and don't miss your shots. Like unless right. you have the fucking drum gun which I want to be deleted from the game <laughs> permanently Everyone's for the rest of it. time. Oh, that gun I mean, is so annoying. My my only thing with the the pump is like, I don't like barrel stuffing. Like I I I don't like when people just like get straight right into your face and and hit you for two hundred. Like I mm. just don't really find that that skillful. Like mm-hmm. I, I respect if you hit me for two hundred from like you know like a box away. Like right. I'll, I'll have it happen to me in creative. And like that's a that's a skillful shot. Right. But a lot of the times, like you know, people who hit two hundred, it's usually a bailout in my experience. Mm-hmm. So the one eighty five to me, honestly, I don't even mind it that much especially if they're going to bring it back however if they just leave it nerfed in creative then it kind of is like so dumb because like 200 pumps they're i mean they're not that skillful but like in creative it doesn't really matter because you can just kind of respawn and it's fun but in like you know what i mean it's like they kind of ruined it for creative i guess the way i kind of look at it is if they could somehow figure out a way to make the 200 pump less consistent so, like, you have to have damn good aim to get that 200 pump off. I understand how frustrating mm-hmm. it can be when you're, like, in a fight with somebody and they just and they one-pump you and that's a wrap, right? 
one eighty five is not is not bad damage for for max headshot damage, right? Because you got to think if you mm-hmm. if you do that and you got an SMG, you know you're doing pump SMG or even pump AR meta, you know you're pretty much guaranteed the kill if you can just get another bullet off. Um, mm-hmm. But I do at the same time I like rewarding players for good accuracy. And the thing is, yeah. if I'm pushing fights right and I'm in close quarters combat, especially. Right, and the conversation. Let me say this real quick too to preface this. The conversation kind of changes a little bit too now that builds isn't in the like we have a no builds mode, but like right, think yeah. about it when when you're in builds, right? You're doing like you're in a you're fighting somebody, you're in a build battle with someone, and you're trying to you're trying to outmaneuver each other, and you turn and you flick and you hit your shot and you get that two hundred headshot because you your your aim is that good. You deserve that damage because it it's uh, that's a that's that takes an incredible amount of skill. To be able to get that shot off, but on top of that, be able to build and maneuver and position yourself away from your opponent. And that aspect, that's why I kind of feel like it it should stay. But I do understand why a lot of people are apprehensive about it because, at, Dag, to your point, it does in some aspects, it definitely does seem like a bailout. Like you could be totally crapping on somebody mm-hmm. and they just turn around and shoot you. And it's like, dude, how the f- there's no way. <laughs> like, there's no like- way you knock me. <laughs> I feel like they could add a shotgun that has, like, the first shot and then, like, two little shots after or something like that. Where it's, like, the first shot does the 185 Mm -hmm. and then has, like, two, like, revolver shots after or something like that. So that it's, like, it you don't instantly get one shot and you have to have good aim the entire time versus Mm -hmm. just that one flick. I feel like that could be pretty interesting. I see. Because, like, hitting someone for 185 then switching to SMG is so, like not rewarding but if they if they had like a a shotgun that did like one main shot and then two two other shots i feel like that could be didn't we have a shotgun that was i mean i guess the double barrel kind of worked like that but not really the double barrel double barrel was not i never liked the double barrel in my opinion i I never really cared for it but then we have that what was one shot headshot off one shot (laughs) what was that came out what was that one shotgun that we had was it the dragon's breath that had like Hella pellets the in fire it. Fire damage. Yeah, it, it, but yeah. like you could, you could like reload it halfway and then shoot or something. Am I, am I tripping uh, on that? Or? Halfway. You're talking about no, the charge? <laughs> no, no, maybe I, no. No, actually, I'm sorry. I'm getting confused with something else. So never mind. I'm, I'm tripping. But no, the, the charge was a damn good shotgun. Honestly, if they just brought the I charge like back, the charge. Like, I like the charge, bro. The charge yeah. took a lot of skill. Like I, I love the charge shotgun because you can just hear, you can hear your opponent. Like right yeah. below you, just like okay, yeah. all right, here we go. You also can't, I, you also can't, I, like one shot off of just tapping it. So you can't just do like a dumbass flick. You right. have to charge it fully. I do mm-hmm. feel like the charge is probably the most balanced shotgun. That one and yeah, that, what do you think? How do you feel about the lever action? Or I liked lever too actually. <laughs> Dag's trash. I, I I like I mean when you know what's okay let me ask y'all a question it felt fun like I liked the little animation it had and yeah the little Terminator not, it was 2 not the best but the, the thing that makes fun. the lever action cool is the Terminator animation they put on it that's lit but um flippy let me ask y'all a question okay does it seem like maybe I'm just crazy but does it seem like some seasons like you'll get a new gun right and that gun will be amazing for like the first week and then after that like it slowly degrades like the aim, your aim gets worse with it like the damage gets worse. <laughs> yeah. Have y'all noticed that? I feel like well, they the MK7 they nerfed the fuck out of it. Oh so my now God. yes. So now I definitely notice it with that. But that was a direct nerf. But I have felt like the uh, like mm, I can't think of a gun that did that. But maybe I, the I Ranger. The Ranger the first day I was yeah. kind of popping off with it, and then the, after like that I, I never picked it up again. It just like got <laughs> so bad. I, I don't know. What about what about how? Do, okay, let me ask you guys this question. For me, do you, you both play on keyboard and mouse, don't you? Yeah. Yes. Damn it. See, fuck. You're probably not gonna understand. Um, <laughs> for me, the shotgun that pisses me off the most, the one that I've died the most while holding in my hand, is that damn auto. Like the auto hmm. is so hard to aim with on controller. Like I don't like know. Bounces a lot. I don't know what it is, but it's like when you get close to somebody. Like an aim assist, don't even get me started on that. Like aim assist has been a problem this entire season, but like when it comes to the auto, like it the the, the aiming just it gets it's like it's too loose and too stiff at the same time. I don't know how to explain it other than that. But like you get close to someone and your your movement starts going all over the place, 
But I mean, yeah, I, like I said, I could just huh. be trash too. Like I could, I could just be garbage. But like, I don't have I that same like problem, you. like the same movement. But shut the fuck up. <laughs> that same problem what? with like the uh, or not the auto, the um, the drum or the or the the striker. I, it's I don't know. It just the the auto just feels weird. Do you feel like it's possible they like? have like aim assist turned down on like certain weapons or do you think if that was the case we would know about it my from what i was told the start of chapter three so apparently all the new weapons the aim assist is weaker on all of the new guns which is why a lot mm -hmm. of controller players have been asking for the old guns to re return because like mm -hmm. if like for example like, say you even go into creative right you can feel a difference there's a big difference between when i use an og ar or a scar and and like an MK or like even the new burst or or the Ranger, right? They 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 don't lock on as well as the old guns do. I can beam with like a blue AR or a green AR in, in creative, but like when it comes to the new guns, like it's they just they don't have in the SMGs is the same way too. Like there's no way that a Stinger has the same amount of aim assist as a P90 did. Like it's it's just right. bad. Um, e but the, the best the what what's the new sh uh, SMG we got the combat the combat when it first came out this season was god tier like it was perfect the aim assist was real strong and then they nerfed it like midway through mm -hmm. and they didn't they didn't just nerf the damage they nerfed the aim assist and it got harder to use so hmm. I don't know it's it's That'd just explain why I'm so fucking bad with it now I'm horrible <laughs> with it oh with <laughs> the... I don't even play control <laughs> well like I said the combat the combat did get a did get a nerf mid-season so okay yeah but i just could never get used to the recoil i'm just bad i guess <laughs> <laughs> it just it feels like it flings to the top of my screen every it, time yeah. aim down boys aim at their feet hit their, <laughs> hit their chest <laughs> <laughs> i i like i could figure out the recoil for the mk but i could never figure it out for the the yeah. combat smg for some reason i don't know i don't know all of this all of the weapons this season just feel like spammy and really like dinky where they just like Bing, 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 bing. Mm -hmm. What what it's season? Just like not fun to use. What season, y'all? In y'all's opinion, do you think had like the best loot pool? Like, what was your favorite season to play? Play versus loot pool, I feel like are two different questions. You think so? I think they're directly related. I think they can be directly related, but like that you have like loot pool, but then you have like the baller and. The you know different stuff that makes the game super fun. Mm, like yeah, like yeah. hoverboards. Uh, yeah. Like like, I'll say that chapter two, season seven. Like for example, yeah. like, that was a very like. It wasn't like that crazy, but it was a very like decent loop pool, right? That was like mm -hmm. pumps, tax, simple simple guns. We I really liked the cow thing that game, whatever it was called. Oh yeah, yeah. bouncing cow thing. That was fun. But the season overall, like, it still wasn't really my favorite. And I think that goes on to Joe's point. It's like, there's more to a season than just, like, the loop pool. Like, That's true. You know, like, Chapter 2, Season 2, I would say, even though that was one of the craziest loop pools with the mythics and everything, mm -hmm. I probably had the most fun with. Um, oh, I hate that season. Yeah. <laughs> you did, you, did, you didn't like so the agency, sir? Uh, uh, fuck that <laughs> season made me want to die. <laughs> Bro, yeah, okay. no. how y'all feel about NPCs in the game? I think they're in a better place now, but they were out of hand in that season and yeah. like the, the seasons around that. That's a fair point. Yeah, I remember the ones in Risky were always so horrible, like the IO guards in Risky. Yeah, mm. I don't know. It's yeah, I don't. I just I kind of missed the days where there were no NPCs on the map and like I didn't have to worry about getting beamed by fucking Sloan at the <laughs> right. at the drill. You know, as I'm just casually walking by across on the other She's side of pretty Lake. much. She is pretty much the only one in the game that I'm like scared of. It's season two. If you land agency, like might just ripped my ass <laughs> wide open <laughs> many times. <laughs> oh my gosh! I there's hate sort that of a, uh, There's sort of like a balance because I feel like on one hand, like Clark, you're you're super into like the storyline side of things, right? So mm -hmm. so do you like having those NPCs as like to direct the story, or oh, do you no. just overall because of the gameplay you just don't care? <laughs> so look. I'm a weird content creator in the sense of like, yeah, I like my content focuses a lot on the story, but bro, like I love competitive Fortnite. Like I'm trash at competitive, but like I love competitive Fortnite. I love like the gun metas. I love the different types of weapons. Like that's really where my heart is when it comes to like actually playing the game. But the story yeah. is like another layer on top of it, which makes it interesting. Cause it's like, okay, now I can try to crap on a nine year old and also learn about what the Imagine is doing this and week. And teach them. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? Like, hey, kid. Hey, congratulations for getting knocked on your ass. But hey, go check out my newest TikTok. Appreciate it. You yeah. know, um, <laughs> but I do like, think this season has been the worst for competitive, like, in a long time. This season's fucking horrible, dude. Like this, this, <laughs> this. Let me tell you something. I don't know if y'all saw the clip, but there's a there's a clip that I put out. This was uh-huh. the season that made me quit builds. I said I'm fucking done. Me and my cousin Joe, we were we were playing. We played. We were playing a duos tournament because last last season, season one, we made it to FNCS. Right, we qualified for FNCS duos. And then this season we were like, okay, let's let's do it again. You know, like we're on the road to championship league. Freaking third or fourth week, we were, I think it was the third week we were playing. We come across, like, he had left me. Like, he was ahead of me a little ways, right? Next thing I know, I, there's a bounty on me. A freaking Lamborghini pulls up. Two dudes jump out the car, build a skyscraper, jump on my head. I didn't even have, I barely put a wall up. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, okay, now I understand. Now I understand why nobody wants to play builds no anymore. Builds. I'm like, I'm fucking done. Yeah. Like, I, I legit almost, like, I like. I almost stopped making content for a week. I'm like, oh, bro, I just, I got it. I gotta breathe. <laughs> it's just fucking packed your back. Like literally, we played one more round after that, bro. And like we're like, fuck this, we're jumping on Apex. Like we were in the tournament, and we're like, we're done. I'm not. We're not playing this anymore. And we just jumped. We yeah. just jumped in the tournament, or uh, we jumped on Apex. So, it's competitive, man. <sighs> God, competitive. It's you. just spammy. It doesn't feel skillful it at doesn't. all. It doesn't. Like it's just. It's. It's not fun anymore like it used to be like I, I feel like i would probably i'd probably play be willing to play builds more if the weapon pool was better if it wasn't just a bunch of yeah. if it wasn't just spray and pray if meta. even the shotgun change spray. it next season i am going to lose my goddamn mind i think you know the, this season kind of reminds me of season eight of chapter two where it was just like yeah i don't know if y'all if y'all thought this too like that season more but mid that that so like Fortnite so chapter two season seven was a little lit with the spaceships all that Superman cool love right season. love that season that's when I started making content yeah. loved it then when season eight came around it's like dude this is the same map same same loot pool same everything <laughs> you just put cubes and broken spaceships on the map now dude especially after that event right yeah where the yeah. mothership was crashing down we're like oh my gosh we're gonna get like this whole new thing and, just, and you like, wake up there's and some there's cubes like, on the map four cubes on the ground. <laughs> It's like, yeah, guys, then enjoy the cube. It's like, okay, all right, just call Optimus Prime, bring in fucking all spark. Like, I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't deal with that season, bro. Like, it just felt like season seven point five. But this right. is kind of what this season feels like. This se- feels like season one point five. You want to know why? Because the loot pool's the same, right? I, no, 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 no. Be- there's actually like an actual reason. So I, I okay, I, I had already basically leaked this, and I wasn't aware I was leaking anything. But Epic actually has an A team and a B team, and they what? the B team worked on. They started on season six of chapter two, and then they did eight, and then they're doing this season, and that is why the the seasons all feel so connected. Uh, apparently, I was not supposed to say that, but it was too late after I made the tweet that got like. Wait, uh, how did you find likes. this out? <laughs> Someone told me. I literally don't remember where. Wait, I, wait, 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 wait. wait. Along those same lines, okay, and that's why they have voting in season eight, and then this season as well. That yeah. they did a lot of the same stuff. That's a, it's a, we're in a B team season, oh, God. so next season will be the A team, oh, which should mean it will be a like more high effort. It's to, it's to let the B team have like the sort of off seasons, and then the A team gets the more on seasons. Did you guys like the end of chapter two? Like the end um, event, like the event, yeah. Well, not not the event, but just like just the way everything kind of culminated with like the. Cube I thought the queen. event was sick. The way it culminated, not not so much. The story was so okay. So here's the deal, all right. And this is this is what pisses. Okay, let me just go into fucking the story mode for a minute. Okay, this is what pisses me sure. off about Fortnite. All right. They they'll build up a character, right? They'll they'll present mm-hmm. some new concepts, oh, some yeah. new shit. And it's like, okay, yeah, all right, we got the cube queen. Yeah, we've been building up through a whole season. The gold cubes and one around around the map having sex with all the purple cubes. And it culminates into one giant cube in the middle. And then, yeah, we're going to fucking make a giant diamond, right? And then that shit's going to turn into a pyramid. And then the cube queen's going to spawn from it. And she's going to, like, to corrupt the map, right? And then she's going to get killed by water. What? <laughs> what? I, what? I, knew what? Th- I knew exactly she's where that was dead. going. <laughs> she's very not dead. Oh yeah, I yeah, I'm sure she's not. She better come back. 
Because that's the Bro, what, what was her ass gonna do? Dog, this so, is what gets me. How not flipped on her bitch ass? How do you she have multiversal levels of like you you you're trying to like siphon the power of an omniverse, right? And here you are gonna get splashed with some water, and it's like, oh, GGs. What? She got, yeah, like, she, she got crushed, bro. What are you talking dog, about? Dog, no, bro. Because look, dog. The entire map flipped on her ass. What What's she gonna do? You have a sandwich? Do yes, dog. I, listen, I guarantee. Like, think about it like this, right? Sloan came from the other side of the map. Sloan was fine. Sloan, Sloan was, in was in the hole, was she not? Yeah. How so? That you think that's better? Cube Queen wasn't in the hole. Yeah, it's better. She okay. She's in the middle. So of so the let me get, so let me so let me get it straight. You're in you're in a hole surrounded by a bunch of computers and other shit that can like fall on you, right? But like, <laughs> and you get flipped over inside that hole. But that's better than being exposed nah, bro, in the, zero oh. grav in there. Okay, all right, bro. All right, bro. <laughs> all right, Joe Josiah, ladies and gentlemen, with the latest Fortnite theory on how Doctor Sloan survived. <laughs> 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 nah, but I I I just. I feel like, to answer Dag's question specifically, I just feel like it was lackluster. I thought that, like, the foundation and it re it finally being revealed that he's the rock and, and all like that. <laughs> finally. Right? Finally. Like, all that shit up. was cool, right? The Seven coming in and helping us out. But it's just like, uh, dog, we, we built up to the Cube Queen, and now we're focused on the Seven and IO, which is cool because yeah. that's, you know, like, that, that makes sense this season, like, building up to that for here. But... The, what what about the freaking cube queen? Like the whole season I think was dedicated to that. They kind of they kind of mm -hmm. fucked themselves a little bit because the cube stuff is Halloween. Yeah, like it's only Halloween, so they kind of have to be like, all right, they're back because it's Halloween. Um, now they're gone because it's not Halloween. <laughs> I'll uh, deal with it. The cubes. The thing here's the thing about the cubes. Like they play a bigger part in the story. We just don't understand what that part is. Like it has something to do with the last reality. And the origin, who's the cube king, and all that, but like it, yeah. it, we don't. If they would just explain, like, they, like I said, they they build up and they set they set up characters, right? But the, but there's no payoff for a lot of it. It's just like just like okay, hey kids, we're gonna put this this real cool character yeah. in the game, buy our skin. All right, you bought it, awesome. All right, let's move on. All right, what can we sell them next? It's like, dude, I get it. Yeah, it wasn't that involved, you know, in in the storyline. And okay, I actually heard from like. I don't know how accurate this is uh, from somebody who who actually has a, a connection to Epic. Their dad, apparently... their dad works at Epic. <laughs> their dad works is at Epic. Is it the same yeah. guy that told JoJo no. that there's an A and a B team? <laughs> no, no, it's actually okay. It's like a it's like a big creator. I don't want to I don't want to expose them, but basically they have a connection to Epic. And mm. he's been talking apparently... to Cipher Chat. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Keep going. Apparently, they're they're like Chapter Two, Season Eight wasn't supposed to be the last the last season. Like there was supposed to be another season after that uh, that they were planning for, yeah. and that the reason maybe they cut it so short was just because like their game was low key dying and they needed like a new a new <laughs> chapter, you know? That makes sense. Like the, honestly, actually, the, the, yeah, yeah. I mean that that's what I heard from from that huh. source is that there was supposed to be another season after that. My dad's friend's uncle who works at Epic Games. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that makes a lot of sense though. That makes that makes complete sense because it's the game was getting very stale. I mean, look at how we were feeling about it. It's just like like, like the loot, like you said, and JoJo. I I, I know, know season seven was fucking fantastic. No, it was I, season seven I, was coming lit. off that season. I was like, this is the best game of all time. Right, but season eight was just like, well, see, okay, here's the thing, and that's a, that's another question. What makes a good Fortnite season? Because here's the deal: season seven mm -hmm. was dope. Because like they added the spaceships and you could go into the spaceship and play the game on the space on the spaceship and try to collect the the stuff to get better loot and you land back on the map and then the loot pool was good and there was cool stuff with the story uh, the NPCs weren't like too bro like everything seemed balanced right and then also yeah I just think there's yeah. a lot of like things that made people want to play you got imposters that season mm. they had the summer event they they had the uh, I don't know they had a bunch of events that felt like a lot of really good skins. I don't know, just overall, it was super good. Hmm. I mean, that, that makes me excited for, uh, well, hopefully this upcoming season, you know, a week Same. from now. Because, like, you know, I feel like every summer season is usually really Banger. good. So if this one's bad, it's going to be a massive letdown, especially. Yeah, I'll cry. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, see, it's it's different since we're content creators. Like, it's tougher on us because, like, if the content's trash, it's like, bro, I don't want to fucking. I don't want to keep making content on this game right now, dude. Like, let me just play. Mm -hmm. Can I play Dragon Ball for like three months until Fortnite gets it together? Like, it's. <laughs> Let's pray that they really come out with something dope next season because, like, they. 
I think let me say this. I think the end of season event's gonna be wild. I think that they yeah, like, I'm excited. Like that should be really fun. Um, but I want we'll go into we'll do we'll talk about predictions or, or in hopes and dreams for next season later. But I did want to ask. Let me see what else did I have. Um, let's talk about. Let's talk about skins because we, we briefly t- t- uh, touched on that for a second. Let's start with the battle pass. How did you guys feel about this battle pass that we had? As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go look at it right now while we're. I feel like it's good. It's just not really my style. What's more of your style of battle pass? Would you say? I like like I don't know shit like Peely and and like funny meme cute skins. Mm-hmm. Literally mm-hmm. one good skin from a battle pass is all I ask for. Like one that I would actually wear. And then I'm like, that's a really good battle pass. So this battle pass doesn't really have one. But it also had, like, members of the seven, which is cool. I'm sorry, Tom. Did you say that this know. battle pass didn't have a good skin? Yeah, I'm saying it doesn't got, like, one that I would really like to wear a lot. Oh, like a meme kind of a skin. Yeah, something something my style. I feel that. I feel that. What do you? What about um, you, Dag? What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to agree with that. It's like there are certain skins like i literally would just not wear like i'm not wearing gunner i'm not wearing wendy's i'm not wearing <laughs> Tazuki. <Yes. laughs> yeah you know the the yeah, imagine like I I, there, there are skins that like i personally am just not interested in but like i do kind of i respect the idea of them trying to bring the story more into the battle pass and it being more you know fortnite focused but at the same time i feel like some of these characters just have like zero personality and i just don't care about them okay see yeah, that, that's see now there you go now you touched on it the battle pass is the problem with the fucking battle passes guys okay here's the deal chat gentlemen the problem that i've felt with the battle passes over the last few seasons is that there's no soul in them like there's like mm. remember the days where like a battle pass would just be a bunch of like there'd be a theme right but it'd be like a bunch mm. of random shit you know and it'd be a bunch yeah. of cool random shit the problem it, with it now is like it's too it's for me it kind of seems too corporate in a way like there's like huh. for example we had this battle pass we had two marvel skins we had a secret one the prowler or whatever and then we had doctor strange it's a tier 100 right and then yeah. last season we had spider-man look i get it epic and disney have a fantastic relationship so they have you know we're getting a bunch of marvel skins that's cool but i miss the days where it was just like they were coming up with like just unique stuff that like things that like, it just i don't know it just made fortnite feel like fortnite like um i don't how, let's let's just go back to like cla- the the first legit battle pass like season two chapter one that like battle pass was terrible the black knight battle pass <laughs> i hate that i i i, I could not stand that, that battle I, pass. I feel that like the early pass. ones were so bad no i even think the season three one was good with the um no Bro, you're trash. Okay, for bro. No, you're I'm sorry. Dog. <laughs> Listen. I, I would not want a single skin in either. That space knight bro, that space knight skin? Lit, bro. Hell no. Well, okay, fuck you. I'm what was good. your favorite battle pass then, Jojo? The first one that actually started to have good battle passes was Peely, bro. Oh my god. Literally Peely. The <laughs> so the season five battle pass? Season, season five, four was motherfucker. Really good. What? What season? Peely season like eight. No, was it? I thought. It was, wait, no. Yeah. Season four was it? Season four was superheroes. That one was trash. That one was absolute dog water. Season I didn't. F- I didn't like. Was it season se- five? Was like drift and and stuff. I think wasn't Peely in that one. That's the nope. that's the pirate one, right? No. Oh, fuck! I will look at my locker right wait, now. No, you're right. No, 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 no. You're right. You're right. You're right. I think season you- eight. See what was season six? I can't remember. You didn't like uh, Carbide, Omega, those guys? Visitor, Car- you didn't like any I, of those? I like just Omega. The, I, li- I like season four. And Visitor, okay. actually. I like the, two, the Omega was lit. I like I liked Omega, but... Zoe? Uh, <laughs> Zoe is, is, is that the lollipop chick? Dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, bro. No, she's like a... She's like a... I remember at the time I said it. She's like a discount Harley Quinn. That's before they could get mm-hmm. the rights to like actual DC care. Yeah. But see, that's what that's what I'm saying. Like, like I, under- skin. <laughs> I I understand like the battle passes. Like I will admit the battle passes weren't always the best. But what I'm saying is like I like the concepts that they used to throw out in the battle passes. Like I feel like two very good examples of what you're trying to say are chapter two, season two, and chapter two, season seven. Of like yes. the battle passes had soul and spirit in them, where it's like the Chapter 2, Season 2, especially, the Battle Pass was phenomenal because it gave 
it had those little cut scenes for all the characters it gave them all like a lot more personality and spirit and then chapter two season seven is like the alien theme you have sunny you have the customizable alien mm -hmm. just like a lot of more personality <laughs> I, to this game. i see what you're saying with that like the the customization features and, and all that i just i just wish like i liked it when this is kind of like go, talking about skins as a whole like i kind of liked it when skins were homaging or referencing like it was like a wink and a nod to like a licensed property rather than being the actual licensed property itself like the og john wick mm -hmm. skin compared to the actual john wick skin like it's cool don't get me wrong i'm i will always say this like this i like master that master chief is in the game and it's playable i like the fact that i have my terminator skin in the game that's playable right but like i wish that we could have gotten you know i, I like the idea of ha having things that like aren't the actual licensed property but are like Fortnite's take on that concept because they always did a good, in my opinion, for the most part, they, they did a really good job with like giving you that wink and that nod to the character. You're like, you knew who it was without them saying it's that person, you know, like that, that made it fun in a way. Yeah. I mean, I, I like collabs to some extent. I, I feel like recently it has gotten a little like, like, for example, I don't think collab skins should be tier 100. And I've thought this mm -hmm. same thing for the past, like, three seasons. It's like, I think this should be, like, you know, like, the secret skin or whatever. Like, you know, like, the Prowler. Like, obviously, that's a collab. But, right. like, Doc Doctor Strange could have been the Prowler. And I don't, I don't know. Maybe Prowler right. could have just been, like, a t like page five. Yeah. But... Wait, I, I want to read out a list of collab skins this season, and oh, and let me good. let me know well, if I'm missing any. You can't take two hours. Here, Get comfortable, dude. chat. <laughs> <laughs> let, okay, let let me know if I'm I'm missing any. All right, so yeah, the the, the Prowler, Doctor Strange, we had uh, Alie, Chica, Chloe Kim, uh, Naomi Osaka, mm -hmm. Obi Wan's coming out, Robocop, the Wu Tang stuff. Oh God. Want, uh, Scarlet Witch, Street Fighter, Moon Knight, yep. Coachella, <laughs> and the list yep. goes on. I, there might be more, but I, th still. I think there is even more. Yeah, I think you're right, dude. Yeah. The co I, dude. Okay, honestly, I just want like fifty fifty. Like I've always, people were saying this back in season seven. Oh, collabs, way blah, bad, and I was like, eh, I think fifty fifty is cool. But this season. It's getting better towards the end now. I feel like we've gotten more original stuff in the last couple of weeks, but yeah, like the season's over. <laughs> but like half the season was just collab stuff. I was like, God damn! Like fifty fifty, I mean, dude. Look at look at the shop right now. We just got a new original skin. It's pretty cool. Let's take it. Let's look at it. Let's take oh it. yeah, this is actually Shark Deuce. What, what are we my looking baby. at? My baby. Like, like I would actually cop this. What are we? Oh, we're, hang on, I'm still scrolling. This is made by my friend, by the way. So, which one? Eternal, Eternal Wonder. Wonder. Eternal. What the. Oh, oh the, the female version of the of the other guy from the battle pass. Yep. Such a kind like, of... I don't mind that. You know, I, li I like original skins like that. It's cool. She doesn't have the multiple colors? Oh, man. No, sadly. How do y'all feel about the original concept had different colors, too, but they just mm -hmm. gave her the blue, which is yeah. unfortunate. Sometimes I wish that they would take old battle pass skins and update them. Like that space knight from season or chapter one season three and like yeah, allow us to give him multiple mad no because we 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 got that with some of the other skins from that season you know like it, it's what was it the the actual space guy the jonesy in the spacesuit we actually mm -hmm. got like later on i think it was at like middle of chapter two we actually got different versions different styles for that skin uh, they just have no incentive to do that though that's like, true because they've already made their money on it which is fair yeah why yeah. is the Matrix stuff in the item shop? I don't know. See, that's that's another. Was that this season? When did this come out? No, it, it was wasn't. Last no, that, yeah, that was chapter three. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. But see, this is this is what we're talking. But like, dude, it's just very random. Yeah. Bring it back. I mean, Donald Mustard was in the movie. That's pretty much the only reason I feel like it happened. Wait, Donald Mustard was in the Matrix. Yeah. For like five seconds. Yeah. He was. What? He was like, "There's a glitch <laughs> or some shit." I can't remember what he said. <laughs> Uh, huh, imagine someone's trying to hack us. World? Huh, weird. Play Fortnite, what? I don't know. Darth Vader coming next season, I think. I hope not. Yeah, so I've heard. I, that, see, that's the thing. It's just like they do it so much now. Like, I can't get excited for it anymore. But I'm not. But see, then again, then again, let me let me back up. I'm not a Star Wars fan, so I can't really yeah. get excited. Now, if it were Back to the Future, oh, dude, I'd be doing backflips right now. 
but <laughs> that's my thing with the collabs is that there's always someone who's literally like flipping their shit like so excited i don't see yeah. like some skins come out and i'm like i don't give a fuck about this skin but there's some people who really like it i'd rather have things that people like and original stuff too mm -hmm. so that it doesn't all just feel like that but i feel like collabs are a massively good thing for the game i agree and people who mm -hmm. don't don't want them it's like mm -hmm. shut up please because i think they're super important for the game's success and like I for sure if, if i'm yeah, taking no. my personal feelings out of it and i'm looking at it from a business standpoint epic would epic would be stupid not to do collabs because they they make a crap ton of money yeah. it's good it's good marketing and business relationship with with their Did you see the partner? naruto one how many goddamn people were playing the game just because naruto was in oh dude no i, I my dumbass huge. bought every naruto <laughs> bundled, <laughs> and i don't even watch naruto i'm like first legit <laughs> anime in the game fuck yeah i'm buying it I even like Naruto. The, no, by the, the Naruto, shit. the Naruto one was actually cool too because they actually put like a um, item in the game, wasn't it? The, the uh, kunai, it's like yeah, the, yeah, the, the kunai. kunai. Like I, I like stuff like that where they incorporate the collab into the actual gameplay. I, yeah, I, you can tell there's certain cool. ones that clearly were more effort. <laughs> the kunai were fun, bro. I want them to bring those back. Like I enjoyed. Yeah, using they weren't those. bad. But light lightsabers pissed me off though. I get tired of lightsabers. lightsabers were so ass, bro. And they brought them back. But even. <sighs> Well, they brought them back and they were nerfed. Yeah, no, They're so I, bad. I don't. I don't like them either. I just want them as a pickaxe. <laughs> that would be pickaxe. They, see now that see someone finally said it. Thank you, Dag. Lightsaber pickaxe <laughs> would be amazing. But it'd be I, so sick. Everyone wants it. It's just. You know what? Maybe the, I I guarantee you, if we get Darth Vader, they'll probably give us a lightsaber pickup. That's what I said. I said. I, yeah. I, I was like, if we get Darth Vader and he doesn't, because you see, you see, they're bringing out Obi Wan Kenobi with as a, a knife, fucking bro. knife, dude. With a knife. <laughs> 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 if they People bring out mad. Darth Vader and he doesn't have a lightsaber, I might. I don't know. I'm gonna do bad things. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like this is money on the table that they're just like not cashing out on. You know, like by just People having certain things. People would spend two thousand V bucks mm -hmm. on just a lightsaber. That's true. Would. That's true. Star I'm sure there's some Star Wars collectors that have probably just downloaded Fortnite just to have the in-game collectibles. <laughs> like seriously, like some real hard. Like Star Wars has a hardcore fan base, bro. Yep. But yeah. So Clark, I don't, I don't know if you're gonna like next season because I, I have a feeling there's gonna be some, some Star Wars stuff. Maybe e even in the game. Dad, at least, uh, Dag. What did your uncle's friend's brother's cousin who works at Epic <laughs> tell you, bro? Uh, I'll have to ask. But um, <laughs> I, no, no, no. I saw something on like some sort of argument on like Twitter, like. I think yesterday, like Donald Mustard, like posted like a photo of his like Lego ATAT, and like the whole yep. community was like, "Oh, it's it's gonna come to the game." And, and then some people were like, "Well, this is actually probably like a genuine teaser." And then other people were like, "What what are you saying, bro? He, like, just let him post whatever he wants." Like, uh, it's always funny to see like. Did stuff you see like the Pac-Man stuff? Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's such a random. <laughs> yeah, <a> Pac-Man. <laughs> well, collab? so. Go ahead. Yeah, there's gonna be a Pac-Man collab because, uh, well, Fortnite tweeted, um, "Happy birthday" because it was pac-man's i don't know 40th uh, i can't remember how many years some anniversary and then everyone was like oh shit we might get a pac-man collab let's go we're excited and then other people were like no fortnite's just tweeting this um and they got really pissed and then some people were like well donald mustard has teased it before in the background of one of his videos like he always does yeah and then mm -hmm. people were like no he does blah 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 everyone <laughs> was fighting and then like literally 12 hours later they <laughs> pac-man announced that they were doing a collab with fortnite it was very funny Poor Mustard. He can't post anything on the internet without it being some kind of a leak for something, bro. <laughs> well, because he keeps... He always does it. Everything he's posted in the background has always been... Like, he had a Wonder Woman thing way before it happened. The Pac-Man yeah. thing. Mustard is just that one post. big nerd, dude. M mustard is literally... Like, imagine grow. I know, imagine he's a super nerd. Imagine you get to grow up and you own a, a company or part of a company that has a badass game like Fortnite. And then you make a yeah. story around that game to have like all the, all the shit that you grew up with as a kid in that yeah. game literally that's bro. why i like it so much because it's just like it feels like it's just his like passion project seriously dude yeah. it, honestly if i were a little kid growing up in this world with the, i would my mind would have been blown bro because i rem i don't know if y'all did this when you were kids but when we were younger we used to take lightsabers right and we would go in our alleyway and we would like be like okay we're gonna have like a, a battle royale kind of a thing and we were like all right yeah. everybody choose your favorite character somebody would be goku somebody would be samurai jack somebody would be optimus prime somebody would be ash ketchum from pokemon and everybody and we would all like fight it out right this is literally every little kid's like favorite thing to do in a video game just pretend to be ash ketchum in the game I, bro i wouldn't be surprised like i'm actually i'm wondering what the next anime collab is going to be
Dragon Ball's got a movie coming out this year, so I'm I'm fingers crossed for Dragon Ball. I think Dragon Ball has a very good chance. I'm pretty. Yeah. If Naruto got in, Dragon Ball will get in for sure. Um, it's just gonna take some time. There's two. There's two collabs I want. I'll be honest. There's two collabs I want. Actually, three. I want Dragon Ball. I want Transformers. I don't want Back to the Future. Those are my three. If I get those, that's pretty much everything I've ever wanted. I think those are all very likely to happen. I agree. I Transformers. They're well. Here's the thing. Hasbro owns Transformers and GI Joe. Ha, uh, Epic's yeah. already done they a already collab. GI Joe. Yeah, Epic's already done a GI Joe collab, which means they have a relationship with Hasbro. When that Rise of the Beast Transformer movie comes out next year, we're gonna get Transformer skins. I'm not even worried about that. Dragon Ball's got a movie coming out in a few months. I'm, I have a feeling if it doesn't happen around the time the movie comes out, it'll probably happen sometime next year. And Back to the Future, we know Mustard is a Back to the Future fan. It's inevitable. So I'll get those as well at some point. But didn't we? I swear we had like a leak for like the DeLorean or something. Like, we, I saw that as ago. well. Yeah, I, I don't know exactly what it was. I made a video on it. Mustard had tweeted something out that had the Back to the Future logo on oh. it. And it, and I think everyone was saying it was a reference to like some football game or something that happened at the time. Oh. But a lot of us were thinking, oh, my God, Back to the Future. We've already had like a couple like um, if for Save the World, when Save, when Fortnite first came out. Right. They had right. like one of the main character was a save the, the Save the World character was a homage to Marty McFly. And then we also have a DeLorean glider, but the DeLorean glider has wings on it, so it's not an exact Back to the Future, but, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Interesting. Last couple of things here. Um, I wanted to get your guys' opinions on creative Fortnite in general. I wanted to ask you guys, do you play creative? Is that something you, you're interested in? Dak, I was actually surprised to hear that you you said you feel like more of a creative, creative player, right? I'm a creative player to the extent that I'm always playing PvP, not like necessarily like, you know, actual like creative maps. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, but I still do like like whenever somebody like recommends me a map and I check it out, I'm always like kind of mind blown, like the like the extent to which like there there are some really good maps out there. Um Yeah, for sure. And and this is without like modding tools or anything. Like they're making some really good maps. So yeah, I'm I'm excited for um I'm sure you guys have heard of like yeah, Creative 2.0. It's mm -hmm. supposed to be coming out in the next like six months or so. Basically, to, gonna give like you know, um, people access to like modding tools. Um, ho hopefully, they don't restrict it because I feel like Epic they have a tendency to like yeah. want to restrict it. Mm -hmm. But th there's like a whole like world out there of possibilities if they make it just kind of like open source, like do whatever you want. If you they know? make it open source, like to, like Minecraft, dude, this game will live on forever. Like this game will never get old. Like the YouTube the, videos will be so good. The BR could yeah. die, and and like creative will just continue, keep the game alive forever. Like it, it's yeah. this so like creative is so all like the this like the stuff I've seen people do in my community with creative like blows my mind. I was doing creative streams every week for like I think four maybe five months straight. Someone in the chat will probably correct me, but like every week we had like three new maps because these like the people in my community were just like they just kept coming up with different stuff, dude. It's like insane, like the creativity of people, like what they like put mm -hmm. forward in the game. But um, Jojo, what do you, what do you, what are your opinions on creative? I I think creative can be huge. I think it just has like a really, really, really long way to go, mm. because right now I basically never play it. And like sometimes I see I see maps and I'm like, oh, that's really cool. But then there's like no incentive to really want to play it, and then. You know, the the whole creative spotlight stuff and shit has been like a wreck. And I know a lot of creative builders who is like that's their main thing because for a while, um, you could make some really, really decent money off of doing it, and then there was whole teams and blah 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 blah. But then Epic started like doing the showcases weird and um restricting some stuff. And I, I think if they can if 2.0 comes out and they do like a hard reset on how they're trying to promote creative or incentivize creative, mm -hmm. I think it could, it, I think it could become huge, but I think it has uh, ways to go for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, like I always thought that creative should have taken the place of no builds. Like if Epic was worried about people not coming to Fortnite because the building, you know, uh, meta was too much. Like, it was such a barrier to entry. They should have done a better job at prom promoting creative because there's so many creative maps. 
where there's no building required, where like even people who like aren't even interested necessarily in the BR, there's tons of other game modes that people could have fun playing. Like, for example, one of one of the guys in, in my uh, community, shout out to Shadow, Shadowy Fox. He has a map everybody here should check out. Like, it, it's it's the back rooms. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that meme, but like oh. uh, <laughs> Matt Pat's yeah. been doing like a lot of videos on it. But yeah, he made like legit like the best back rooms. Like you look at some of the other back rooms maps, but like this mm-hmm. map, like it's real, bro. It's really good. Like and there's different game modes that he has for it too, right? Like there's infection. So like someone is the entity, and you like you run around, and they they got a scythe in their hand. Mm-hmm. If they kill you, then you become an entity, and then you just you just keep going through the map. And you try to escape the back rooms, right? There's stuff like that. Like there's Something. so there's so many like dope concepts. Even even the other map that we had collabed on, I collabed with him on on my Terminator map, right? He quite frankly, I came up with the concept, but he built it, right? Um, mm-hmm. he and the rest of my community. But like the, like we we made no builds before no builds. Like a whole season or two seasons mm-hmm. before no builds came out, the Terminator map there was no building on it. So like it, everything that you could do, with, of course we didn't have sprinting and all that in the game. At the time, we had to add that later, but we just it it we were able to make a a map that was more based on positioning than it was the the building skill, and it and people loved it. Right. So it there's there's a my, but anyway, my point to all of this is that like there's so many other games that people could definitely play and enjoy based around like the core the core concept, the core engine of Fortnite, but just yeah. like it it would just it it appeals to so, such a broader audience, you know. Um, that's why I feel like they just need to ha- do a better job at like promoting the actual really good ones because they keep promoting the like cheap like red versus blue like I'm not, I don't want to play that shit I don't yeah. care <laughs> and so I yeah. think they just need to do a better job at promoting the ones that are like you know because red versus blue is just practice for the actual game like mm-hmm. most people play creative just to crank you know and get better at the game Whereas creative should be creative and like give people, you know, make a game so fun that they want to play that instead of the main game. Well, and I think they just need to do a little bit better job at promoting that. The creative community is is huge though. Like Mustard plays like Donald Mustard's brother. He's yeah. he's like the forefront of it, right? But there, dude, there's so many like really talented, like really successful, like creative, not just players but maps. Um, mm-hmm. Where's I gonna go with this? I know that like, just just the pot- bro, just the things that like the potential that a lot of that just create like you're saying, Joe, like creative has like it's like you're saying there's there's there needs to be more promotion of these content creators, these map builders, and creative as a whole. Like uh, the BR gets focused on so much. I feel like nobody even thinks about Save the World anymore. Like Save the I don't, does anyone even play that? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, no, I, I say, don't even know. The only time I played it was when I would accidentally click it on like the triple screen where it was on there. I'd click it, load into the game. It forced me to load into it. I had to like just smash escape until I could leave the game. <laughs> I remember the days when we used to think that uh, save the world would help you with building, but then you found out the controls were different. It's like, oh, yeah. well, this sucks. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Did you want to ask? Have you guys that? ever? Have you guys ever played um like uh like different servers on Minecraft like Hypixel? Yeah, or, that's like, what I want to have. Yeah, yeah, I think it'd be cool if you could like link different creative maps within like a singular like world. You, you know, they're, they're you kind really... of can. You can do that now. Oh, the matchmaking thing isn't good though. It, it it's yeah, like it's not seamless whatsoever. It's not. Yeah. And also, there's just not enough players. I feel like if you, like, I feel like there could be some really cool mini games and stuff. Like, you go into a high pixel server. There's like thousands upon thousands of people in there, and then mm-hmm. you go into a server within the server, like Bed Wars, and then there's thousands of people playing that, and then they promote their best, you know, mini games or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're like, here, play this one because this has a bunch of people already playing it. Yeah. yeah, and there are a lot of, like, dead creative maps in Fortnite, and I feel yeah. like it's because, like, they're, they're hard to access. You right. know, they need, they need, it needs to be, like, a more seamless experience of just going in and out of these these islands. Yeah, yeah, there needs to be a better discovery feature. Like, I feel like creative should have – well, I guess actually, I was about to say something stupid. I was about to say I feel like creative should have its own tab separate from the BR and, like, Save the World, mm-hmm. but it technically does. But it doesn't yeah. feel like its own tab. It feels like just an extension of the BR, right? But like if if it had it like it needs a separate 
Yeah, like it's yeah. on a separate dedicated system. Like you could go into creative Fortnite and there's like a library of like different game modes and, and like they have it now, but it's so like cheap and watered down it's hard to find anything. You know, other unless it's like an actual popular map. But if like you could go and explore like and like search a like kinda like on YouTube, you can go and look up videos, right? Look up like different maps. Just like right. go through like a library of maps and like that would organically make different maps gain traction. Um, and that would, I think that would incentivize people to play creative more too, but mm -hmm. I don't know. That's just, that's just kind of my two cents. I, I love creative. I've seen what my community has done with it. That was honestly the source of a lot of my content for about the first four or five months. And I have a huge amount of respect for creative players. So if I know there are a lot of y'all in chat watching out of the 56, you shout out to you guys, but like, seriously, y'all, you guys, you creative builders, man, I have been impressed and legit. Those creative maps have made me better at playing Fortnite as well. But just some of the concepts that you guys came up with. So, I don't know. Um, I guess we're kind of to the end of all the things that I had um, listed. The last thing I wanted to really go over with you guys, get your opinions on, was where, you know, what are you hoping for from, uh, you know, season three? And where do you, what do you think they're actually, what do you think they're going to do with it? And what do you hope that they'll do with it? Like, what do you want to see? Hmm. I want to see someone actually die in the event. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I want one of the seven to die. I want, I don't know. I had a theory about that. <laughs> someone, just someone needs to die, dude. Why? Why do you, why does someone have to die, JoJo? Because no one's died. There's no stakes. It doesn't mean anything. All of this stuff happens and no one dies and everyone's fine. What's the point then? You know, go ahead, Dick. What are you going to say? I don't really have any insane predictions. I mean, I'm mostly just hoping for like a good shotgun loop pool. <laughs> remove, remove like, I, yeah, maybe just one SMG, if that. Um, and then in terms of like the gameplay, I mean, they do have so many different options now with like the, the fact that the old map is like underneath our map currently with like the, the whole like inside like the, with the zero point like there's so much like they could do with it like mm -hmm. e either like teleporting between like yes. them i don't think they would do that but that would be sick that um, was that was one of my theories i came out with when the season also, chapter started someone's on the goddamn moon right now so they could also do the something moon. with that okay yeah. guys stop exposing the fucking tiktoks i have for the next three days thank you <laughs> relax <laughs> jeez <laughs> spoilers <laughs> oh shit speaking of tiktok god damn calm down um yeah that's those were two theories that i had spoilers guys for this week um but yeah <laughs> one of them was that one of the map might be on the moon the other one was the map we're gonna go back to the flip side um, I could, I definitely think that we'll go to the the flip side of the island at some point. I don't know for sure if it'll be next season, of course. But I, I would. This is what I would like, and it's really what Dak had just said. I had talked about this a while ago too. Is that like, it would be neat if they could figure out a way for us to transport from this island to the other island mid game. So like, let's say like the player count reaches a certain amount, and the island flips, or everyone gets teleported I to really the other think, island. Oh my gosh. I yeah. really think that, you know the thing, the little mini game in season seven, I really think that was like them testing that function. Mm, that's a good point. Just because mm. you like, and everyone is saying, cause I was mentioning how it would be cool um, uh, with that as well, about like being able to teleport between two. But then everyone's like, no, it would be too much on the servers, blah, 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 blah. But, like, they already did it with the the little minigame thing. Maybe maybe it would only be able to hold 15 people or whatever the fuck, but I think it would still be sick. Well, that's the thing. It's just, like, you would do it, like, let's say out of a lobby of 100 players, you know, you when a lobby gets down to 20, you okay, now yeah. the, the map switches over because it's not going to be too much on the on the server to do that. You know, and I think that would super incentivize people to be like, I want to get to 20 because then I, we get to do the cool, like, well, uh, teleportation animation that's a good point. I know what? I didn't even think about it like that that's actually a really good point I, I would definitely try to stay alive longer just to get to the other map <laughs> yeah because like people complain about how like the Fortnite map gets stale you know but it's just like if we mm -hmm. had still the option to play on the other map but like do it different than other video games do like instead of like Apex where they cycle the map out like every 45 minutes you right. you know you actually cycled through the map mid game that would be wild um yeah the only issue is like I feel like Fortnite can already be laggy enough. I don't know if they can take that from like a hardware standpoint, like flipping between them. I don't know if I trust them to, I don't know. I think they could. 
I, I think it's I don't know. They're really good at coding stuff already. I'm pretty sure they could make it where it doesn't I mean you're switching from one to the other. Like they had the sideways, right, where you would step into the portal and everything would kind of change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine they'd be able to do something like that where it's like yeah. Not quite you're going to a completely new map, but sort of like the illusion of you're going to a completely new map. It would look like map. it. Like you could like the storm would yeah. be the storm size would stay the same if you teleport to the other map, but you're on like a specific part of the map, like maybe Pleasant right. Park, you know, or or something. Um so do you guys think that they should increase the the player count on the map? Um I I think they could try. I don't know about in comp. Uh, I don't think, I think they can, bro. I mean, like, I don't know, like, the statistics, but I, I know they already have, like, a lot of, like, bots in our games. Like, OCE right. servers are, like, dead. Like, for mm. them to raise 150, like, o OCE would just be playing against a, a bunch of bots. <laughs> um, but I don't know. I think I think 100 is, like, the selling point of Fortnite, you know, and, and that's why they're not going to change it. It's, like, a marketing thing. Yeah, but we thought that about building, too. And then they took that, they, you know, they flipped that on its head. You know, you know, maybe, yeah, that's true. maybe if zero builds had 150 players, because there's less, right. there's less stuff going on because you don't have everybody building skyscrapers on the map, right? So maybe hmm. increasing, and that would be, see, that'd be another cool thing about zero builds is if you increased the amount of players just for zero builds, not builds, but just zero builds, that would incentivize more people to try it out as well and it'd make it more competitive. Um, I don't know. Maybe like, but I see, Doug. I do see your point. Like it, I don't. It, can they? Can the physical game handle that? Like one, the player count. Like, do they have enough players to support that? And two, can the actual game support it in terms of like the game mechanics? Like, is the is the engine stable enough to be able to support 150 players on a map of this size? Mm -hmm. You know, so it would make games way more exciting because like like go into any game right now and the lobbies die just so fast. I mean, yeah. it's been like this for a while, but but still, it's like you have a really good early game and then just like you don't run across anybody for like half the game mm -hmm. even even in chapter three um i don't know yeah that's like what like when tifu is getting those dropping those 40 bombs it's like dude like you you have to have a perfect the perfect storm to do that like, you have to have the right loot the right amount of people around you to start that off you know a decent teammate like it like it's so hard to do that in games because you just don't find enough people I yeah. also also find mm -hmm. it interesting how like for some reason in build or in no builds no builds it takes longer to queue up in no builds than it does in arena. It's like there's less people huh. playing no builds in their our arena Fortnite. So I don't know, but could be that there's less servers for arena maybe. Yeah, are so they fill up faster. Well, you would think arena would be slower just because they have to like match make points. Yeah, but I, I have a but see you know what I think that how it works, once you get to a certain division like the division seven onwards, like I think those are all uh, the same. same. It's the same pool. It just yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. division seven to ten is just like all the same players. Got it. Okay. That makes sense. But any predictions for next season? Uh, Daily Bugle's gone in my opinion. I think Please. the whole top right so. corner of the map. I think that's gonna be like a whole new area. Please. Thank you. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's like water themed, or not water themed, but like like summer themed. You know, yeah. I hope there's like a summer element to it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what that would be, but yeah. Jojo, honestly, not that I can really think of. I mean, I think it's, uh, I think it's gonna be good. Um, that's about it. I don't really have any predictions, like. I don't know if the map is going to fucking explode or <laughs> Caddis is going to come back and eat everything. Like, I don't know. Well, I, I will say something before we wrap up to, to, to build off a point you made. You, you were saying to, uh, that someone needs to die um, yes. in the storyline. I agree with that. That was a theory I was debating on making, um, which is where, like, I, I think one of the seven will die. Or I feel like it's going to be someone like Jonesy. Like, I feel like Jonesy might die or something. Um, but you're right. Like the stakes are not high enough. Like I, I do feel like that Fortnite storytelling does need to either get a bit darker or just a, a bit more advanced in the way that they tell it. Like they they have good elements there. This season's actually been really good for the story. The story has been really interesting. The whole thing with the Imagine and her memories 
um, you know, not being there, the the seven and their infighting, you find out that they're not as organized as, as you thought they were, um, and just how quiet Dr. Sloan's been and, until the end here. And it kind of, and I've been theorizing this from the start, is like, I feel like she's just playing everybody. Like, she's wanting, she, like, she let them have those territories so she could take over mm-hmm. the map, you know? And cause, yeah. Because the, the collider's, like, right over the zero point. You know, it's, I, I don't know how, if, I think that thing's taking energy from the zero point, and if it is, I don't know how they're going to stop. Uh, the, even with you, okay, you have a giant robot, but, like, you, do you risk damaging the zero point if you destroy the collider? Like, all that, all that kind of stuff. I, I think the story is neat, right? They've done a lot to, to world build and add lore. But yeah, I think Jojo, you do have a good point. Like it does need to, it does need some, it does need to evolve. Kill someone. So, <laughs> well, gentlemen, this has been a very interesting conversation. I've I've enjoyed having you two on. This is fun. I I like this. I kind of I want to do this if we you know if I can at the end of every season. If you two are down to come back, I'd love to have you back on to do this again. So yeah, it's fun. Hundred percent. Like it. Lit lit. Um, you guys want to run around or do you guys have to go or what? I got to go. Okay. I bounce. Got some stuff I have to get done for tomorrow. So trash. Imagine having to get things done. Yeah, I know. I hate myself. It's fun. <laughs> well, bro, it was but an honor to have you on, man. This was, this was fun. Nice to meet you, Doug. <clears throat> Yo, you too, bro. Uh, we'll see you later, Clark. All have right, a man. good one. Cool. Thank you for inviting me. I appreciate it. Hey, bro, you'll be back. I know it. So I appreciate you, man. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> See ya. Duos? Awesome. Yeah, I'm down to run like a few games. You done? Yeah, I'm done. Let's, fucking, let's do it, bro. Let's run it. Young right, Dag, right. let me Clark Clint. Are you, are you East or, or no, you're West? I'm West. I'm West. Yeah, sorry, bro. All right. That's you, all right. Gotta, you gotta play my servers, man. L. You want? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or hang on, builds or no builds? I'll let you choose your guest. Uh. You know, we'll 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 run some no builds. We'll see. How it goes. Okay. No, have you played a lot of no builds this season or no? Uh, solos no i've played a lot of like duos um actually i just won the alley a skin from uh the tournament with with no builds um, ah, you are a sweat i keep forgetting that yes <laughs> i mean it's it's kind of fun it makes you think different you know you have to think really smart yeah you can't just like jump out there like you have to like your no. positioning is like super important like I will say this. I think no builds actually made me better at builds when it comes to my aiming and positioning for sure. Like I play, mm-hmm. I push fights a lot smarter than I used to. But yeah, I'll say from playing creative so much, it's led to a lot of like bad habits with my game sense. Mm. And but 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 playing like zero builds, it's kind of like I can I think ease that a little bit. Yeah, you kind of can ease yourself back into it. Um, chat, I feel like I've been ignoring y'all. Shout out to everybody that's been dropping follows and whatnot over the last hour. I want to thank you guys for being here. Uh, we, we've been going around between like 46 and 50, which for me is a very big deal. So thank you. Um, if you're from Dag's community or JoJo's community, shout out to you guys. Appreciate it. This uh, recording will be up live after the stream. So if you want to go back and listen to it, share it with other people, um, feel free to do that, you know? So it should, uh, <laughs> should should be it should it was an interesting conversation to have i I really dude i'm so happy that we actually got to collab on something like this was this was neat yeah no it's it's, it's great i feel like we both have a lot to say about it and we, we only scratched the surface but i you know there's so much more like i don't know i did there there's a lot more honestly like i know that jojo had a, we can, i mean shit bro we're, we're vibing now man we can talk whatever get dubs yeah get dubs fucking yeah. talk about fortnite what else, what else did you have on your mind like that we didn't cover like about the game i i I would say like um beyond like the loot pool and like that being the reference for whether like this season was good or not just like your own sort of like are you getting like bored of the game is it feeling stale to you Mm. being a content creator how has that been like sort of like that aspect of it oh the content creator oh see not bro see this is the real Ah, dang. <laughs> now I'm getting excited. <laughs> yeah. Dude, con- making content. See, now we can have the content creator conversation. Wish yeah. JoJo was here because we could continue this on. But, like, dude, making content is can be so rough for this game sometimes. Like, if you're going, I don't know. How do I say this? I remember one time when you and I were talking before in DMs, you were telling me, like, you had gotten burned out at one point in time. You had to, like, take a break yes. from it. Like, yeah. I, I almost 
got like that. Like I'm coming up on a year, bro. Like doing this consistently, and this is like the most consistent. How did I miss that drop? This is the most consistent like I've ever been with making well, content or anything. Mm -hmm. So like I don't know. Like it's if the if the game is feeling stale, if like the updates are trash, if I don't like the way the loot pool is, yeah, it does not make me want to play this game or make content for it. You know. I know, and that's like. It's sort of a bad habit that I've, like, learned to get rid of is, like, I never want to feel like I'm relying on Fortnite to make the content that I have to make. Right. And, and honestly, I, I partially do because I make a lot of, like, informative content, like, updates. But then I also do, like, you know, some more, like, meme stuff occasionally, trolling. Yeah. Um, like, just sort of, like, commentary. And I, I've sort of just had to, like, I guess, find that balance of, like... Except in the fact that I can't rely on Fortnite to make the content for me. I have to go out and get creative with how I'm gonna make the content. Well, let me ask you this: like, what's like for you personally as a content creator? Like, what's your goal? Like, what, what's content creation? Like, are you trying to do this full time? Like, you trying to make a career out of this? Like, what's your? It's kind of like your I, plan. I came into this so randomly, bro, because it was literally just like, well, well, first of all, I had been doing YouTube for. I want to say like seven years actually before I started Fortnite, mm -hmm. and I was it was basically like a Lego stop motion animation channel. Oh, but you used to do Lego stop motion? Yeah, yeah, That's I grew that channel. It's like forty thousand subs. Like it was it was pretty cool. Um, and honestly, I might I might even continue to post on there at some point. <laughs> but um, it was honestly just the fact that I was playing Fortnite so much. I was like, I should like be, I don't know, be more productive with my time and actually like make videos on it too. Because I was. You know, I was watching a bunch of creators. I was like, oh, this seems really fun to kind of, you know, yeah, give your thoughts and everything. So it was never it was never really oh, like a plan to be like, let me be like a Fortnite. Got a guy. I'm going to. I don't know if this helps. <laughs> well, <laughs> wow, Rail Dag, ima imagine, today. imagine Dag not scanning anything. Wow. Oh, gosh. Wow. Get it together, dude. My Auto goodness. shotgun, your favorite. Might as well be playing solo duos right here. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a solo? Oh shit! Wait, I... Oh, this guy's horrible. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Nice. Chat, you see Dag try to steal that kill from me? Imagine. <laughs> Jeez, bro. And the loot. Dog, you yes. need minis, man. Oh, what are okay. you doing with your life, bro? Hold on. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> Back what do I need shield for, new, bro? I got overshield. New, new, new TikTok tomorrow. Hi, hi, backpack dag with me and saying duos. No, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> you probably will, but let's see. 65 ping, not terrible. I'm at. Oh, bro, I don't even have my ping up on my screen anymore, bro. Like, yeah. You know, you know what's funny is like, so the tanks, right? Yeah. I have probably used tanks maybe once this season. Really? You have cheese with it's, the tanks? It's, it's a reason that you wouldn't think. So, do you know what double movement is? No, what is it? So double movement is, a, is something you do on keyboard and mouse to give you controller movement. So basically when I hit W and A, I like normally keyboard and mouse players wouldn't be able to build while running to their left or right. But uh -huh. with double movement, it's basically like having two different movement binds that you're pressing at the same time. And it allows you to build like walls while running to the left or right. But it doesn't let you use tanks if you have it enabled. So I literally just don't use tanks. That sounds like hacking. <laughs> That's so wild. <laughs> All the majority of pro players use it on keyboard and mouse. Really? Yeah, but for me, it's actually built into my keyboard. Like I have like a it's called a routine keyboard. Um, so it's like it literally it's like a stuff of it's, keyboards. Uh, Not it's quite. yeah, yeah. No, it's like um, it's like their main feature. It's meant for like games like Rocket League, you know, to get that sort of like uh, circular movement. I see. Let's rotate over here, clap these guys. Yep, going over. Excuse me, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir! 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 God, chest. Oh. Yeah, get him. Help, oh, horrible. Bro, why would you go there? Oh my god. Good job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See, every. Dude, I'm telling you. Anvil launches, they ruined God Chess. They yeah, don't dude. Get anything good anymore. That freaking blimp that used to be on top of uh, Tilted, every, th that top chest, every time, yes. I would yes. get a freaking, what is, as you kids call it, an anvil <laughs> launcher. 
Like, yeah. bro. Like, I don't, like, Eden was consistent, like, every game. I was like, why, why? Literally. No, it's, it's literally ruined those, those types of chests. And they're not even that good, because, like, they target vehicles, but, like, I'm not, I'm not, like, an ultra sweat, where if I see somebody in a car, I'm gonna start, like, beaming the car. I'm not like that. Wait, you don't, what do you mean you're not like, you don't do that? I know, I don't start just, like, destroying somebody's helicopter just because they're above me. Why? Even though I know that... I don't know. I just like I want to let people enjoy the game to some extent. No, dude, no, just... you don't let anybody dag. No, that's not what we do here, okay? <laughs> you see somebody, oh, oh, you want to pull them in a helicopter? Boom, knocked, <laughs> L, dance on them. Yeah. Dag, right. you're, you're too polite, bro. I can't. I, I I guess maybe maybe. That's right, bro. We'll corrupt um, you by the end of this match. It's fine. Here, let's let's rotate. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna we gotta get go out of here. To the... I'm gonna hit the cannon on top of the fortress. I think. Yeah. Hopefully, this IO guard doesn't kill me. Are oh, you sure you don't want to, you know, like, make sure he hits you a couple times so you don't ruin his day, too? You know? You're letting helicopters land on you. Oh, sure. <laughs> Dax, like, Clark is the most toxic person I've ever played with most of our last collab. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? <laughs> Bro, how- Taking wh my time? What are you doing? Bro, what are you doing? What do you mean? Bro, why, how did I- you got up there before I did. How did I launch before you? Not sure. Oh god, dude, there's a guy to my left. I honestly couldn't find my way up. Dak, I'm scared. I'm with you. Okay, Where are they landing? Oh, right in front of us. What? This idiot landed. Oh, okay. bush. I'm sandwiched. Oh, he's in the bush. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Dude, what, 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 what's on? I got shot drum? through a tree, bro. Right, run it back. Run it back. Run it back. This game. Chat, what are y'all talking about in chat? Now, hold on a second. The point of chapter three was to make the game completely different and new and refreshing. Well, they failed. Fun, furious. Hell, no, I'm just joking. I actually, you know, I actually like this. I like this map. I still, the, the, it kind of revitalized my energy in the game, but some things definitely need to be uh, adjusted. So. <laughs> Will you post the podcast on YouTube? This po the podcast will go up on YouTube uh, once the live stream ends, so you'll be able to see it there. So I gotta put all the tags and stuff on. But no, bro, you were telling me. I'm sorry, I did not mean to cut you off, man. You were telling me about how you got into the into content. You were so it was you were doing oh, oh. you were doing the Lego yeah, stuff, yeah, so, and then so I had this other channel, but like stop motion, it takes. A it's very tedious. It takes a lot of time. My brother and used to do so stop motions. So Actually, I used to I used to voice. He used to do transformer stop motions. I used to voice characters in his series. Sick. Yeah. Sick. So, yeah, I'm familiar with stop motion. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of voiceovers. Um, but yeah, it was just like my time was mostly just playing Fortnite because I wasn't really enjoying the game. That was I like I first bought a PC like season ten. So, chapter one. Every, every, yeah, chapter. Oh yeah, chapter uh, one. I was a mo I was a mobile player 10. for. Yeah, no, I was a mobile player for seven seasons, bro. Um. But yeah, when I got a PC, I just like decided to you know get OBS and start making some fun some fun videos. But mm -hmm. it was never really like there there are kids who like have like this plan of like oh I'm gonna be like a YouTuber or I'm gonna be like this like content creator. That was never really my plan. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to make videos, you know, and then they started popping off. Yeah, to say the least, bro. You have, seriously, like, you're... I, like, look at your content from time to time. Like, this man, like, I, I take notes. Like, he's doing everything right. Like, because you went, I think... I'm trying to think. You were at 300,000, and you just seemed to jump to 400K, like, super quick on YouTube. Yeah, no, I, I think 300K was, like, the beginning of this year. And then, yeah. Yeah, like, January, and then you're at... What are you at now? Uh... I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe 4, 420? 420? Clark, I'm so know. big now at this point, dude. You can count <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> Imagine having to do that. Me at 5 yeah, I'm, I'm at 4, 423 oh, Okay, all right. Yeah, that's... So, let, let me ask you a question. Do you have, like, a bucket list of content creators you want to collab with? Like, bigger content creators? I, I will say, like... When I... So I, so I mentioned... And it, it's not Ninja. But when, when I first like, got into Fortnite... I like it was around like season two, uh -huh. and at the time, one of the best players that I used to watch was um, Nick A30 because he was like you know the insane like edit god. 
Right. And and so I don't know. I, I watched him a lot, like on his streams. I don't watch him as much anymore, mm -hmm. um, just because I don't really, you know, I don't have time to like binge streams as much. But yeah, it'd be cool to play with Nick one day, you know. Obviously, I can see you doing that. You're wholesome. He's wholesome. He'd definitely be down <laughs> to play with you. You make good content. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool. Have you ever had a chance to reach out to any other like larger content creators to, to try something? Or? You know, it's not really something I've I've done. I mean, I've played with um. You might know Birdo. He's like a TikTok creator. Uh, we started playing together actually in in Chapter Two, Season Seven. Mm -hmm. Um, and he's he's actually an LG, so he he's played with Nick before, and like, he has like you know some connections there. So yeah, no, it could, could happen. We'll see. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Birdo and I play. We play on stream a lot because um, he's East. He's also in New York. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, how about you? Do um, you try to reach out to like other creators to play often? Or? Not yet. No, I just my whole thing is I, I just want to make. Hold on a second. Don't go down. Oh, oh. You gotta push no. the back. I'm on bot. Bro, I'm, I'm free. I'm so free. Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna slide the game. Oh my gosh, default, please. I can't build. Bro, I missed every shot. I'm so. <laughs> I'm so trying. I tried to build. He tried to build. I, so, build. He tried to build. I, to I pulled out the floor. Yeah, we, we can go to no build. It's fine. You, you're comfortable. Honestly, I, I kind of want to play build slow key. Huh? Yeah, let's do it. Let's wanna do it? Alright, I'm done. I, I miss builds, honestly. Like, Even with the lag, I, I need to build. <laughs> <laughs> But not nah, like for me, bro, like I, I trust I made videos in the that's one of my videos that got me initially to blow up on TikTok was I I went in Tim the Tatman's stream and uh and made a uh and sent him a video where I was talking about my genius like evil strategy, marketing strategy to become an internet celebrity. Right. And it was kind of a joke but yeah. kinda of, kinda of serious. And one of the things I said was, Okay, Chad, mm -hmm. this is this is what we do. First thing we do, we build the following on TikTok, right? And it's like Tim's watching the video on a stream he's like smart <laughs> yeah. and i'm like and i'm like then we play with tim the tat man i post a picture with like him and the dent in his head in his head and he's like what, yeah. what? <laughs> so then it like goes to like talk about me playing with chris brown and like all these other people and <laughs> and tim's like for what it's worth clark play with me he's not gonna blow you up thank you for your 50 and it's like okay dude like i wasn't the point but at some point like <laughs> i would like to collab with um with like those that those guys like nick tim the ogs yeah a lot yeah. of the ogs that'd be cool um but also like i i think there's other people i like to collab with like t-pain i like like he's a he's that dude is hilarious t-pain is hilarious i like to play with t-pain at some point too so I, I do have a small bucket list but right now i'm just focused on like just making really good content you know i just focus on like really solid content am i are we in, oh no we're in zero builds my bad oh, oh my gosh oh. i'm trying hold on but yeah, i'm just yeah i think that's yeah. That's been my priority as well. It's just like, oh, somehow I got in the game here. Let me back up. Okay, I'll wait for it. Is like, even though I've been making content for like, I guess a year and a half, two years on Fortnite, like, I'm still figuring out like, sort of like my style of videos. Yep. And so until I reach that point that I could like have a certain style and I can do them consistently, like, that's going to be my main priority, I guess. How long did it take you, like, on TikTok? How long did it take you to get from 200K to, f like, 500K? Uh, um, I think that would be, like, season seven-ish. Um, so that was, like, a good season. And I think it was just that summer. I think that mm. summer I doubled my numbers. Yeah. That makes sense. I asked Microwave the same question in his stream once. I went to his stream and asked him some stuff. Um, and he was saying that for him, he said, cause I rem I had just hit a hundred thousand. I wanted to ask him, so how long did it take you to get from a hundred thousand to a million? He told me it only took him about 12 months. He said it took from the time he had a hundred thousand to the time he had a million. It was about a 12 month time span. Mm -hmm. But he said he had a bunch of bangers, you know, like he was, right, yeah. he had a bunch of videos he, that just popped. So, you yeah, know, in terms of TikTok, like. I used to like I remember having getting like a video that had like seven million views like at some point in that season and um yeah like like you know a couple couple million views like now nowadays I'm like lucky if I even get a million mm. um on like one then like this season I don't I probably have like maybe one or two because like like I mentioned I mainly my 
my focus is on the YouTube algorithm now, not TikTok. Yeah. What do you think, like, for you personally, like, may, makes you want to switch? God, I can't talk right now. My goodness. What made you, like, want to focus more on YouTube more than TikTok, like, right now? I've always, well, I guess the fact that, one, I've always loved YouTube. Like, like I mentioned, I had that other channel. Like, I run, ran for, like, five years. So I've always just loved, like, the YouTube platform. Um, yeah. I also like having everything in one place. Like, you know, live stream, shorts, long form videos I do from time to time. Yeah. Um, where should we go? Take it, take it dead. Man oh my god, dude. <laughs> what? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> That's fine. Command cavern is dope. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Uh, Do you like having all the content, the different types of content, long form, short form, yeah, all that? All yeah, that yeah. It's, it's 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 cool to have it in one place. It makes you it makes you feel like I don't know, you're more than just like one thing, you know. Whereas TikTok is very restrictive. It's like when people when someone follows you on TikTok, there is no guarantee that they they are even going to see any other videos you post. Right. But, you know, like maybe they could if they're really into Fortnite and like you know they interact with your content. Yeah. But YouTube, it's like if you're a subscriber, they're showing you that video. No yeah, you get notified what. every time they post a, yeah. post a new one. So it's just way more interactive. Um, you you build an audience, whereas TikTok it's, it's followers. It's not an audience. Right. To some extent. To some extent. Oh shit. Airstrikes. Yeah, that's why I'm like trying to get away from Twitch. Chat, you already know this, so don't act surprised. But like, I'm trying to get away from Twitch and go. Oh my god, Dad! Take everything. Wait, don't you? <laughs> well, <laughs> Can I just grab it. No, you're good. I already got many. Um, but like, I'm trying to get away from Twitch and focus on YouTube because yeah. YouTube is just such a better platform. To stream. You know, like that 1300 viewer raid the other day, like that would not have happened on uh, Twitch. Below us, he's like camping. Yeah. Oh, launched up. He just jumped. Yeah. I'm gonna pop the fake real quick. Yeah, he's going, just, he's going to the scanner, I think. I totally failed on that launch. Wow. Yeah, he scanned. Here, I'm gonna double scan him. Uh, oh, yeah, guy on my, my level right here. Going up. Here. Okay. Up. Oh, I got the Watch out. Oh, I got the wall. I got the wall. Nice. Good work. Bro, why is it? Bro, I swear I play builds so much better than no builds sometimes. <laughs> One of those days, you know. Away. You need ammo or anything? Oh, I'm chilling. Thanks. I'll go push with you guys. Yep. Right. But you ain't here. I'm gonna this dude. Trying to say I smell bad, Dad? <laughs> the green cloud. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, I'm making use of. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, let me just. Uh, where are they just, fighting? Just drop. Just drop. They might be inside. Down. Like, what, are, what are these people doing out here? Guys, stop fighting. You're gonna die anyway. We're here. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, oh, this guy's Done? Knock one? Nice. Chummy down low. Fortnite comes in 2022. Chummy down low. Spider Man at the top. <laughs> Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange. <laughs> Dad, did you see this? That. Uh, Oh god, gunner's up here, don't go. These guys are right below me. Okay, okay, okay. With you, with you. Alright, behind us. Oh, yeah, right here. Dead. I just killed it. Eh. Oh no, no, no. Actually, that was I had his teammate now. Is there another guy in here? Uh. <laughs> what, what happened to my MK? Okay. Oh, wait, what? There's a guy here. Above. You know yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, I'm marking. Oh, right there! Right here! Okay, come back, come back. Cracked. Oh my god. Dead. 
I just good job, bro. I was I was botting that. <laughs> Didn't know what gun I was on. I somehow also dropped my uh, more footsteps. I don't know if they're NPCs. Should we loot ball? Um, yeah, we can, right we can kill Gunner. Right, right. Oh, he's already here. Um, I'll grab that. All right, here, come with me. There might be more kids in here. I'm scared. <laughs> I got you, bro. Following Dude, they might lead. be following the most insane strat. Hold up. Gotta right, make sure they're not. I've had that happen a bunch of times. Uh, people camping in here. We're chilling. We're fine. I've done that for a video. <laughs> that was you? No. <laughs> Imagine. I got killed by that one. This is what happened. <laughs> No, no, actually, the way you would do is like, I got, I got killed by Dagwami, and this is how. <laughs> yep. You know, what I, you know what I was going to do? <laughs> I was going to do, I was going to start doing Fortnite theories, but I was going to start doing them on, like, actual content creators. <laughs> you were on my list of people. <laughs> I was going to make some uh, wild theory about you and your content. How does Dagwami exactly. get so many views? If you look at his content, no. <laughs> is Dagwami real? Is that going to be a real person? Has anyone actually seen him? <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll just actually save him. Actually, what am I doing? I can't open this. I'm maxed out on gold. I'm rich. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get out of here. I have 5,000 as well. I don't think I've used gold this season. Dude, I, I have to force myself to use this. Like, I just never think it was, about it. It was, it was good in one season. I forgot which one. Probably season seven. Late chapter two. Yeah. You know, I uh, I really wish it would bring side grading back to the game. That would be really nice. That was actually good, yeah. I didn't even do the mark strategy. I'm, I'm dumb. Dag, you play creative, okay? It's not your fault. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that's true, that's true. No, yeah, the majority of my time spent in this game is literally 1v1 realistics or FFA box fight in Zone War. And I'm just like watching Hulu or something at the same time, just like cranking. That's the majority of how I play Fortnite. Oh, I see. Bro, listen, okay, this is what you do, right? Next thing you gotta do, bro, play the back rooms legit. I'm not even I'm not even just saying that because I know the guy who made it, but bro, that map is lit. Like, you gotta check it out. Yeah, yeah. I know it's not like you thing, but like, seriously, you gotta check it out. I'll send you the code sometime. It might be good for content, honestly, bro. I've been thinking about making another video on it. Dude, creative videos, I didn't think they would do well. I had one, I made a video this season about 12th hours uh, park format. It had it got like 1 million views on like both TikTok and YouTube. Are you serious? Like, yeah, it was a ran, like a random creative map that like, I didn't think those types of videos would do well, but. That, see, you know, that's crazy because I try to do creative videos and they don't do well. Like I've tried, I'm, they, they, I they bomb. I, I started with a lot of context. That was like, I forgot how I started the video. I was like, this is one of the coolest Fortnite maps, creative maps I've ever seen. I started some like a very generic line like that, just because right. I, I wasn't sure how to like market it. You know. I see. So you're. Uh, kid, oh, go ahead. Oh, you got. You see. Kid on the left. I'm beaming him. Yeah. Hit him. Uh, hundred. Wait, crack. Nice. Yeah, yeah, Thirty. Oh, right oh, team, team landing on us right here. Bro, I haven't built once this entire game. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Here, let me stay on high earth real quick. Oh, these kids are decent, I think. Drops, though. I'm scared. One. Right here. Not a five to play at it. Oh, right here. Oh, shit. Oh, 170. Good work, good work, good work. Oh, yeah, here. Yeah. Right. I'm free. Oh, <laughs> We're you. stuck on each other. <laughs> <laughs> I was frozen. <laughs> oh god! Oh no! I'm, I'm gonna chuck slash you. I'm gonna chuck slash you. Watch out! Watch out! Way to go, Dag! Hang on. I saved your life. <laughs> Good work. Yeah, I'll come with the shield, Dag. I'm coming with the shield. Oh, no. These guys, are tr these guys are try hard. Oh my! These guys. Are Wait, I fight armored walls. Here, here. Three, four, five. Yeah, 
All right. Wait, did you fully Killing. box? Well, we got the floor. We have the floor. Did we go through? We had the floor! Alright, yeah. Oh, that was a mistake on my part. Oh, uh, he's praying! Fortnite delayed the live event, AJ? Really? Wait. Oh, oh they have the thing too. So let's see, what did he say? He said, Fortnite delayed the live event and the new season. The event will happen on Saturday, June 4th. And chapter 3 season, you'll start Sunday, June 5th. Makes sense. Like, I was hoping that they would start on a Friday. That'd be nice because then I wouldn't have to work all day Sunday making content, but. More people will play the event if it's a Saturday. Are we staying up all night again, waiting for leaks. I'm taking off work on Monday so I can grind content. <laughs> See, you're smart. You know what? <laughs> That's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, I actually called out of work today to shoot this to make sure I could get my other video shot and huh. be able to do the podcast. Yeah. I'm trying to be able to do this full time. It's, I gotta, I gotta really grind it out. But you're, you're definitely opening my eyes to like how I can change up how I do my TikToks. I gotta. I think you have. I think you have so much. The way, the way in which you start your videos just to appeal to a wider audience is 100 percent the move. Mm. So and also, I, 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 I have like um. You, go ahead. You you like um. I, I've seen this on your TikToks before. You like compress the gameplay into like a vertical format, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't I don't think that's good for the algorithm because they can't recognize that it's Fortnite. Really? Yeah. I was told that that's like, the way you're supposed to do it. You want to scale the video. You so, want to scale the video, and if you can't see what's essential, then you basically just have to, like, basically crop to that specific area. So, hold on a second. I thought that, hang on, I thought you did the same thing. Hold on. Oh, am I tripping? Hold on a second. You, you like, um, fill the screen. Like, you, you basically shape shift the video itself. I just scale the video up to, to 319%, which is, like, takes up the whole frame. Uh, so hold on a second. So what's the? I'm confused. Maybe I don't understand what you're saying. So. Here. Uh, let me. Let me check that. Let me look at one. Of, so your videos, you say. Hey, let me look at your video and see. Shut up. <laughs> Dang. Videos. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing it. Yeah, yours looks. It's not stretched. It's just scaled. What's okay? So okay, that, what's the difference? So, so s scaled maintains the same aspect ratio as the gameplay. So mm -hmm. nothing looks like out of ordinary. Like all the proportions are correct. Oh. Whereas I'm pretty sure you're either stretching it horizontally to fit the vertical screen, yes. which then makes it the algorithm can't pick up that it's like Fortnite oh. as easily. So. so it, yeah. I see. Okay, so yeah, so yeah, because I crop all my footage. Yeah. I think you just scale it if, if it's uh. If it works. I gotta get a gun. Um, let's see. No gun. Oh. Um, give you a sniper. Oh, sniper. <laughs> oh god. Hang sniper. On. Sniper. No sniper. Whatever this is. There's a knocker right here. Yeah. Oh god. Oh, this is, that's not you! <laughs> oh god! Tracer! Oh, I don't know, thank you. Holy hell, Fortnite. Who is right on the Whoa, what is happening right now? What? <laughs> Bro, I'm, I just, I'm just trying to get your card, and it's like it. Oh my god. Did you guys run out of rockets yet? Like, did I get, it? Did I get your card? I didn't. You, you got it, yeah. Okay, yeah see, no, this Watch out cool. above you. Yeah, no, I'm trying to get out of here. Did I just drop my shotgun? Oh, whatever. Yeah, take your time, take your time. Shield check. Okay. Oh, 
Also, shield cake is definitely an awesome item that they added for healing. I like the concept of shield cake. Yeah, yeah shield, shield cake's in great. Are you still live on uh, YouTube? Yeah, YouTube and Twitch. On both? Yeah. How the heck? Well, I'm, my magic. Dag, alright. You use like the restream thing? Or? Uh, I use uh, Streamlabs as a service. Multi stream? Yeah. Oh. As a, yeah, the multi stream service. That's sick. Yeah, it comes in handy, but I'm technically I'm not supposed to do it, but you know. Because Twitch. I've heard that, but like, who's gonna like. Yeah. They're gonna ban you? They're really, they're really gonna ban you? Yeah, they're gonna look at my, my one stream out of a million with ten viewers, you know, and, and take away my... And they feel like maybe only, only if you're maybe... Are you partnered on Twitch? Yeah. Or no, not partnered. Uh, affiliate. Affiliate, yeah. So it's not even yeah. a big deal. So maybe if you're partnered, they take it oh, more shit. seriously, but I don't know. Look out. Oh, Lord. Okay, we can run inside. Yeah, I guess so. Or actually, we could take a car and leave. Either or. Uh, do we have a car out here? I should take this launch pad if we get out. Yeah. This is a, this is a camera right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're still trying to shoot me. We'll go here. In loot. Log in. Yeah. Dude, it was so strange. I was playing the Allier tournament. Um, the no build cup. Yeah. Not once did the zone pull top left. Not once. Every zone was like desert. Dude, seriously? Some, like, I don't know what it is about tournaments, oh. but. Oh, you good? Oh, God. Someone's slightly the back. You, but no, for real though, in tournaments, you will get like the same zone over and over and over again. I don't know why that is. Yeah. Yeah. I remember watching FNCS one time, and it was like nothing but like the hill at Caddy Corner. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> Minnie's down here, by the way. Cool. Hold on a second. What's this? Still bad for the guys that crag and twist. Jeez. Crag. Oh, what the? Dag, are you doing bullet mag today? I think, yeah. Oh, wait, I see. How did I miss oh, that? Goodness. Oh yeah, he's behind the tree. Come on, buddy. Go ahead, edit. Yep. Ooh, nice. Oh god. Oh yeah, I can build. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. You got this 30 white. Nice, nice. Pull up on him. Okay. Actually, yeah. you know what? Hold on a second. She got him 30 white, right? Yep. Uh, he's somewhere up there here. I'll, I'm gonna hit this again. Alright, good. Oh, yeah, he's all the way up there. Is he? Okay. I'm gonna double spray that. Spray this. He's coming back. Spray this. He's on. He's like Fortnite. He's like Fortnite. <laughs> nice. He's <laughs> 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 like Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Kind of feel bad. Here's Lockheed. Actually, you're fine. The Clark Clinton Dag Wabby. Dag Wummy <laughs> duo combo. I call you Dag Wabby. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, that's Daggy to you, sir. Oh, my, my bad, Dag. My apologies. Yeah. Young Daggums. <laughs> Daggums. <laughs> Daggy Rummy. Oh. Uh, bro, this has been a really fun stream, man. I appreciate you taking your time out and running a few. Oh, yeah. It's been fun for me, too. Yeah, yeah. Man. Definitely been long overdue. Some minis here. I got splashes as well. Bad. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited to see where they're going to go from here. There's a lot of, like, direction. Yeah. I, uh, I think next season will definitely be really interesting. I think the story is going to be fun. But I do I, have high expectations. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, here's the deal. I'm, I like making theories on what I, what I, you know, think is going to happen. But really, most of my theories are kind of like hopes. Where I, where I, like, if I basically when I make theories, I do from the standpoint of okay, this is how I would tell the story, you know. 
but it has to be based on the clues that were already being given. But yeah, it would be nice if we could go to the flip side of the map and go back and forth between. I know they probably won't do that, <laughs> but it's cool to yeah. talk about. You know. Hey, you said in your videos you crank it. Wow, dude. Bro, uh, do you have a driver's license? I don't. Wait, you, so you know how I was telling you about this like five hour zoom thing I have to do? Yeah. Basically, to get my driver's license, I have to take this five hour like free license class. That's literally what I was doing today. Wait, Tom, yeah. Dad, how old are you? You don't this mind is me why asking? I drive straight in the trees. Uh, I'm 20 years old. You're 20. Dog, you're not even 21 but yet? I'm not. Oh, you're such a baby! <laughs> how, old are, how old are you? How old are you? How old do you think? <laughs> I don't know. 22? I'm 27, bro. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm an old man. Younger than that. I know. Everybody. That's, that's a compliment, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> black, black don't crack, I guess. Nice. <laughs> Still look like I'm 18. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, Dak, this is how you're actually supposed to shoot people when they take vehicles. You see this? Well, I don't want to ruin their day. I, you know, I kind of want them just to go out for a nice Sunday stroll. Oh, you can shoot them later. It's fine. <laughs> I think they're gliding on us. Fine. Bring it. Yeah, he's a behind the rock, huh? <laughs> Sir, if you had Here, played can... my Terminator yeah, map, you would have hit that. You want to land on them? Here. I'm, I'm down. What are we doing? Oh, you gotta. Oh. We are in builds. I keep forgetting this. Did, oh, this, I just got, dude, did you just get hit again? Out of the sky, I got hit with a rail gun. Here. I'm gonna go more. Oh, shit! Wow. Here, I got this. Gun. I'm so good. I'm gonna sell him for it. Okay, I got uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I don't know. My aim is like not on today. Like I'm missing it. Did you go back to the lunch? It's an old habit. <laughs> Dad, how long have you been playing this game for? <laughs> so wait, hang on a second. You're 20. Yeah. So, wait. So when's your birthday? October. Oh my god. So wait, you kind of you were 15 when this game came out. Um. Mm, or 16. How old is Fortnite? I almost, was like 16, yeah, yeah. So almost, almost, I was still, I was still in high school. Okay. Dude, that's that's crazy. That's so, that's so crazy. I was 22. Yeah. When mm -hmm. getting, that's, no, oh, bro. Dang. But, it, yeah, but now imagine the people growing up on this game. I know. That's the thing. It's kind of crazy. I don't know how y'all do not it's, like it. It's a this good game, game to grow up on. Yeah, no, seriously. This is one, if I had this game as a kid, I would have definitely, like, <laughs> stay inside all day. Oh, dude, yeah, I would've never Probably wouldn't be healthy. I would've never touched yeah. those. Now this game still takes over my life, but it's because I have to make content for it, not because, you know, it's like... <laughs> right, right, right. I'm definitely going to stretch my videos to, to like you're saying, because I, I understand what, you, what you're saying about cropping. I can, sh I can show you how to do it. Did what you? program do you use? Uh, DaVinci Premier? Resolve. Oh, Resolve. Yeah, yeah. Just scale it, scale it up, scale it up. Okay, that's easy to do because that that's all on the. I know I know how to do that because I have yeah. to, I do that for other stuff like when I'm doing my. Uh, but okay, but you so have you tried cropping videos before? Cropping as in like like you're what like what you were saying that I was doing. Well, you didn't say cropping, but you said I was stretching the video. That's what cropping is. You're kind of stretching it out. Yeah, no, I haven't done that. That, that, in one sense, you would think gives you an advantage because you can see more of the screen, right? It's almost like it, it's almost like giving you a bigger FOV. Right. But, but at the same time, it, it diminishes quality, makes it harder for the algorithm to recognize that it's Fortnite. Um, and I don't think it looks as clean. Right. But I noticed that your videos yeah. do look very smooth. That your quality is mm -hmm. spot on. Yeah, I'm also like filming like. Yeah, like 40,000 bit rate. Holy Try to get good quality. I know you get a lot of bigger content from streaming, so I, so it would be harder, I think, to turn the quality up. I, I used to, but now I'm starting to get more of my uh, content from, you know, off stream. Just like, like off stream? Interview. Yeah, that's why, like, I have a whole folder from, like, just stock footage. Like, I'll record stuff off stream. Because I realize like the quality makes a big difference, and you know whether the algorithm boosts you or not. So. Do you do you script to your videos? Um, some I do. Uh, 
like the the theories generally speaking like what i'll do is i'll have like an outline like okay well, this i want to make this point this point and this point leading up to this right um mm. but some of the stuff the rest of it i guess would just be what else do i talk about if i'm talking about like something that like irritates me in the game kind of don't let it spitball it you know like i might have tangent yeah. yeah you know just kind of clip it down but, where do you want to land uh Did you just ask me if I was serious? What? What? <laughs> no, no. Heck, I want to wanna land here, okay? All right. All right. Sorry you don't want to be serious. It's my area of loot. Yeah, the vids are kind of short, bro, but you make them from what you get, and Epic doesn't give that many resistance quests. <laughs> Oh, you talking about the uh, resistance video? Yeah, resistance video was shorter today, bro, because I didn't, <laughs> I didn't win. Last week's was longer because I, I actually won my Ooh, game. This guy pushing me from over here. Oh, dang, figure it out and handle it, all right? No. Yeah, I'm grenading him. He's behind that rock, I think. Like, hang on, man. I'm gonna shoot this guy in the face. Wait, what? <laughs> bro, are you? Back you? Oh. <laughs> oh God. Nice Where's the other guy? Uh, I don't know. Huh. Um, Balloon! Show him vengeance! How dare you vote for that pe- Oh god, Dag, look out. Oh, what? Shoot! Oh, that's the wrong gun. Shit. L's. L, 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 he knew he was gonna die. Bro, I was trying to double pump. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't. I thought. I'm sorry. Yeah. Was it worth the finish? Was it worth the finish? Yes. <laughs> to be toxic, absolutely. Yeah. Look here, Mr. Sunshine. I know you can't relate since you're, you know, not wanting to shoot people if they're driving a vehicle. You don't want to disrupt their evening, you know, in the battle royale. I get it. Okay. Nick A30 Jr., but some people, it's like ruining your day in this game. <laughs> Watch that. I think that, I'm not sure there's gonna be any ammo over there or not. I don't have a whole lot myself. But actually, I barely have a clip. If you need shotgun, I can switch you some shotgun ammo. Uh, yeah, I'll take a few bullets. I got you. <laughs> Sleepy, what do you think they're gonna do with tilted, right? Because I, I imagine we're gonna get a new tilted, a new type of tilted. I think they're just going to rebuild it and put the you same think? build. Yeah, that's what they normally do. They just put the same buildings back up and call it a day. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Wait, 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 wait. Who, did right, you, right. who aggroed the... Oh. Uh, that, may, that was me at the very beginning of the game. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> that, was, that was like 10 I minutes I can't ago. even hide behind. Oh, God. They have good aim. <laughs> 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 Alright, take it away, take it away. So make right here. You are not using a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite. What am I supposed to do with this? Die. That's what you're supposed to do with it. It's your one and only option. See that other guy? You got one shot for me? Die. Dead. That was definitely rigged. Fortnite just wanted us to use balloons. <laughs> okay. We are lacking shield, but besides that. Okay. Drum shot. Ooh, no. Oh. I'm gonna keep my blue tag. Or, uh, auto. I mean, fuck. You know what? Just, Striker? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just don't, I, I can't think that I do. I've been up since 5 a.m. I got, I literally got up early to shoot my Resistance Quest video. So I'd have time for the podcast. And then Dang. the Resistance Quest said, hey, uh, so the new quests actually don't load in for another 45 minutes. Which is half an hour until you have to go in for work. I'm like, are you kidding me right now? I woke up early for this? Wow. So, so I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna edit videos all day today. I'm calling out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, yeah. boss. Uh, I'm not feeling good. I have to uh, rest. <laughs> make some uh, Fortnite content. Uh, <laughs> I have to make some Fortnite YouTube videos. Listen, boss, if I want to be a professional Fortnite streamer, I can't be, like, tied down by what you need me to do, okay? I, I don't know if you think you know how this works, but... You know who I am? I'm Clark Clint, okay? I have 5,000 on YouTube, right? Be Clark Clint. Yes. <sighs> I'm looking forward to this summer, man. I think... Content's gonna, especially if this next season is really good. I think content's gonna do really well. I'm excited. Yeah, the beginning of season is always like the most. It's it's like kind of stressful in a way. Like you're like in a rush to like just yeah. make, make as much content as possible, but it's also always very rewarding. And you know. Yeah, I remember when like last season, like the battle pass. It was like, okay, I gotta make a battle pass video. I gotta make a my first game on video. Like, you know, this is first day is a grind. Yeah. Yeah, this is like nonstop content. Cause you're like you have you're trying to be out there with everybody else, talking about like all the updates, all the leaks. You know. Yep. Well, the thing is, I've found is like unless you're like the very first person to like cover like just like the update it's usually not going to perform that well yeah so what i'll normally do on like the beginning of a new season is like i'll stream for like maybe two three hours um figure out something cool i can do with like one of the items and then make a video about that rather than just trying to like rush to be like the update guy i see yeah for the most part yeah I, I Unless, that TV yeah. hasn't really done too hot for me um yeah um, they also have to be like so fast. Like pe people just want to know it's new. Like those that type of audience, they just want to know it's new. They don't want really your thoughts on it, even though that's more of like where I tend to go. Yeah, that's you know what that that's what I was gonna bring up earlier. You had brought up like you know what did you say? It, it, you're like you don't want to feel like you have like what was it? You have to make Fortnite content or like the uh it, was it that I, oh Kizami uh, right here duo. Oh lord. Oh yeah, man, go. Get on. <laughs> yeah, phone up. With you. Watch out for the top. Yeah, I see a guy on me. Break down, break down. Oh my god, my bad. White team. Another guy White head. Over here on the right. Wow, bro, I am not. Get in there. With you. Yeah. No, it uh I'm trying to think, what did you say? You had said like more about you're talking about like more of like followers versus audience or what do you No no, no you had said something about how you We were talking about how it's tough to make content sometimes. And you had Oh made, right, yeah, you you don't I try not to rely on updates as like my source of content. You know what I mean? Well, you had said it was more along the lines. You said you weren't trying to rely on Fortnite to on Fortnite. to make to make the content for you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. In the, the I try what to I adapt it to my own my own style. You know. Yeah, what I was gonna say is that's you're trying to basically you're trying to brand yourself. That's the point. Like you want people. And that's what like I want to do. Like I want people to like me more than the game you know like i want people like, if you're gonna have yeah. a brand that lasts you're gonna do well as a content creator like you want people 100 percent. yeah it's a hard it's a hard balance though because like you know you have to like warm them up to like your personality you can't like just go if you go full straight in personality it's like why why should i care about this person you know right well, sometimes unless they're really like good at what they do and they're funny or whatever so you have to kind of have like you kind of have to like do both you have to please the people who just really want fortnite while also establishing your own style and brand yeah you have to basically build that not just familiar familiarity but like something you had told me a long time ago is like the trust like you have an audience that really trusts you and your content like if you put something out there like they know that it's going to be solid reliable content you know what i mean so yep. yeah yeah um, I, like I, I remember definitely like when i first started making tiktoks like it wasn't really content that I was that happy with, so that's why I kind of like shifted it and, and, and tried to establish more of like a trust of my audience rather than like meme style stuff. Oh, guys, I, I have not hit a single shot. I 26, hit. 26. Who you shouldn't at? I hit him 50. 
Oh, what the heck? What? Where did you come he, from? Right you got a guy on you? Hold on. I'm on the way. Hang on. He just, he just comes out of I'm nowhere. Here, I'm, I'm behind you. Okay. okay, go fight him. Go fight him. Oh, my God. Bro, I can't aim anymore. Thirty-two damage. Nice work. Maybe I should have kept it. Man, bro, I'm just telling you right now, bro. I am not what I used to be. I'm, I am dog water at this at builds now. It is, it is bad. I played better on Saturday. This is. Have, have, do I have I touched the controller? Goodness. No, oh, I back out. Again. Oh. Yeah. It's literally a habit that I've formed. Dag, in my community, this is what we call lunching the situation, okay? Shout out to you, lunch. I love you, bro. But <laughs> stop <laughs> stop lunching <laughs> this, bro. All right. I have a, I have a guy in my uh, in my community named uh, Lunch on Crack. <laughs> and uh, mm -hmm. he always goes back to lobby all the time. We always give him oh, crap yeah. for it. It's like, way to go, yeah, lunch. No, that's me. Yeah, it's wait. Like wait Dude, how many subscribers am I getting on YouTube right now? Dad, this must be your, your crew. I had to pause the notifications for the podcast. And they're just <laughs> piling in right Let's now. Let's go. Nice. Let's go. Uh, I think I just I linked Amazing. it to like my YouTube and or community tab and uh, Discord. But that's I, cool. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you. Seriously. Uh, Got you. It was a good conversation. Yeah. We, I, has there is there has there ever been like a dedicated Fortnite podcast before? That's honestly a good question. I, I don't think so. Just sort of it's it's sort of just like cipher, like you know, you know, like it's not like a podcast, but it's just sort of gameplay and commentary. But like a dedicated Fortnite podcast, I can't think of one. Yeah, I I think I had looked at one time and I couldn't find one. I know that I, I know um, you know Arab. I know he had like a Fortnite Pro series. Um, like brand risk something or other. Hmm. I'm not familiar with that he one. Had like, he had interviews with like Clicks and Jarian and like those types of Yeah, people. big big players. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I think ours, that's why, I, you know, I put it on there, world's first <laughs> Fortnite podcast. But people, like I said, people have been asking me to do one for a while. So this was a good. This is like kind of a I, test. You know, it's to, cool. No, I feel. I feel like it's an untapped like niche or area. You know, it's like yeah. Pe people people like to like have like discussions about this stuff, and there's no really like place to do it. Yeah, that's that was the thing that I was trying to figure out when I was making content. I was like, okay, what am I going to do that's different from other people? You know, I looked mm -hmm. at your content, looked at JoJo's content. Of course, I looked at you know the people I really look up to, like. Cypher and Tim and all them and I was paying attention to what they were doing But it's like I gotta figure out, you know, like what's my thing, you know, like what's this my thing? So the theories yeah. kind of, you know, kind of naturally gravitated towards that But then, you know, <laughs> the podcast yeah. stuff, I think people really like listening to me talk about the game too So, like I said, once yeah. the once season, I'm I, definitely down to do this Yeah, yeah yeah, no, I think you should definitely keep it up with, like, talking about just the game itself. It's a, you know, because that's something everybody can relate to. Anybody who's just played the game. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, no matter what part of the Fortnite community you're coming from, you know, like, everyone pretty much plays the BR. That's, like, the, the core of the game. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. All right, where are we going? The you bubble? Will, I don't know. All right, I'm done. Yeah, I landed at... It was like you've probably never even landed here before. I landed up there for the uh, the Allier skin tournament. Is that where you went? Okay, that was smart. Cause we yeah. we actually went Sunny Steps when we. Well, actually, no, that's a, that's a lie. No, we didn't. We I, went. I will say I, I landed there just like two different games when nobody went there. We always go Shifty. Like that's our kind of our spot. Like we land Shifty and very like, contested spot. It's 50 50. Like it didn't used to be. Like it, it was like kind of 50 50, and now like there's more people landing there, but. I All still right, like I, it. I would have thought like the chapter three effect of just like Shifty's pack would have more people. But we last season we were really like consistently like going there and doing well, but this season it was like a lot mm -hmm. tougher. Who the hell? So do you, are you still very much into competitive? Not as much as I was. Um, like competitive zero builds, like we played every tournament this season. Like we loved it. 
but builds not as much. We kind of we we're right. talking about returning to it next season, but this season we're just taking a break. Gosh. Guy in that building. Okay. I'm gonna start pushing. Yeah. Alright, away. And chat, I'm not ignoring y'all on purpose, man. I'm just me and Dagger just talking, we're vibing, having a good, good conversation. Here, I have some splashes for us. Oh my god, I literally Mario did splash. These guys are in the building right below us, right? Uh, yes. I have an idea. Right. Move? I can, I can mark them again. I think I'm gonna move. Oh. You're good. I'm good, right? I think so. Yeah, you're fine. You let the exit of the, uh... Sir, sir! Sir! <laughs> watch out, watch out. Yeah, got me. Oh! Oh! Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> What do I want here? I don't even know. Hey Clark, can I just kill those guys? I'm just gonna take like the your first pick of your loot. Thanks man, appreciate it. Okay, no problem, Dad. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> In case you haven't noticed, I'm a very sarcastic person, so don't tell me. I'm just a loot goblin. Sorry, man. Loki, you were backpacking last round, so I, I was throwing. <laughs> you got whatever you want, it's fine. Christian, what do you sell? I have a shock case. Buy that. Bro, took a big pot and found minis. Yep, bro, it happens. It happens, Sasha. Alright. <laughs> but look at me now. I'm getting paper. Oh my god, Dad, you were like. I just realized something. When that, what? <laughs> when that song came out, you were like nine. <laughs> oh my god. From what song? Look at Wait. me now. Chris Brown, Busta Rhymes, and uh, Lil Wayne. Oh, that was nine. <laughs> I think you were like nine in that, because I was like 15 uh, when that song dropped. Bro. What oh. year was that? 2011? No, 2010. 2010. Okay, yeah, nine. <laughs> oh my god. Listen, bro, you think I'm young, but I'm probably one of the older creators. <laughs> How? Dog, I'm 27. How are you one of the older creators? In terms of TikTok and like the, more of the short form stuff, you know, it's a lot of so? they're young. Yeah, yeah, they're young. Really? Huh. I see a lot. Of, actually, I, mean, I see a lot of older guys. Really? Yeah, but like, there's Maybe. one dude that was like, what was his name? I think his name was like Pops Gaming or something. He was like pushing 60s. I was like, dude, respect huh. you. You like followed me a long time ago. Microwave, microwave, he and Chica, they both do TikTok and Zemi. They're all around my age. That's true, yeah. Zemi's the goat. Zemi's a monster. He honestly got so he got screwed out of that tournament where he, uh, he was playing against Cypher. <laughs> like that tank ran over him like randomly. It's like, bro, my team, uh, we died to Cypher in the uh, Trio Zero, Zero Base <laughs> tournament. Oh my gosh. Yeah, his team pulled up on us. I didn't. I died to some loser, but my teammates, they have, they have the, the clout of saying that they actually died to someone on Cypher's team. So. <laughs> died to Cypher. Nice. <laughs> I was like, yeah, well, we all died to Cypher. I did. All right, whatever. <laughs> Where are we going? Let's go, Coney. Yeah. I'm going to drop my MK. I just have SMG shotgun. What kind of, what color MK do you have? Uh, I just dropped a blue. A blue? Oh my god. <laughs> Who's the main character in the storyline? There is no main character in the storyline. Not exactly. But if there was like a Fortnite movie and they had to pick one person. <sighs> Depends on what story they're trying to tell. Um, I think Jonesy would be a decent, um, yeah, decent person. Like Jonesy, kind of, everything kind of seems to be centered around him in a lot of ways. Since he's mm -hmm. worked for the seven and the IO, but it, like, it, if they wanted to tell like an IO origin story, like Sloan would be good. If they wanted to tell a story about the seven, I think Paradigm would be a good person to start with. She, I think Paradigm is going to be more important than like what the game is leading on right now. Like, there's a lot of build up for her. Dude, Dude. I, I'm, I would want a Fortnite movie so bad. <laughs> Apparently, they're supposed to be like, making one. I know. Yeah, yeah. I, apparently, I think it's like in discussion, but. 
I don't know. I just feel like the storyline is good, but like to a, to a, a casual, it's like kind of hard to explain in like yeah. one sitting. But like a movie with like good writing that could like you know give it some I don't know some some like depth, a simplified direction, but also depth. I think would be cool. It would basically it'd be a, a concise way of being able to explain. Okay, this is what the game or this is what the story. Is. I have a yeah. feeling. Oh, team over here. I have a feeling that's why Mustard hasn't done certain things to certain characters because he might be trying to get a movie deal for his mm, game. Mm. Um, hold on. Oh yeah, this this duo down here. Oh yeah, brother, we have balloons and everything. We got this. Okay, maybe we don't. I'm missing every shot. Uh, I'm gonna, okay. I could shockwave on them. Or should I wait? Oh, short, short left, short left. They hit just like me. Oh no. What? Hang on. Bro, what happened to me? I used to be good at this game. I got headshots. Dag. Back to the lobby again. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> I'll forget. All right. All right. One more. One, one more. We got it. We got to have a good one before I end it. One All right. We'll do, we'll do one more. We'll try. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, hang on, I'm pick a new skin. Right, let me let me pick something I actually use. Yeah, yeah. yeah I gotta change this. That's the reason we go this. Yeah, obviously. Bro, okay. Actually, that was something I was gonna bring up. Do you ever feel like certain skins make you play better? Hundred percent. I mean, why is that? It's more. It's it's more just like there are certain ones that make me play bad. Yeah. But no certain skins that make me play necessarily better. I don't know. Hmm. So basically for you, when you put select the skin, like you can only go down, you can't go like up <laughs> in terms of your, like, your <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> I feel yes. that. I feel that. Dax, like, I'm just so good at the game, Clark. Like, like there's there's this, you know, the ceiling's so high. For, yeah. I've already hit it. There's only down. <laughs> nah, bro. I just like put on Naruto and just like win every game, you know? <laughs> Certain skins just give me like the most OP superpowers. You know? The kunai is just spawned in my inventory. Yeah, bro, I, just, I, I rock a gold pump every game. It's just, they just <laughs> pop in my hand. Bro, it's like I don't even have aim assist today. Like, I don't even know what my deal is. Have you made a video, like... Okay, now I don't want to steal everything from Apex, but, like, what if Fortnite had, like, a character, like, selection... You know what I mean? Like, characters that do certain abilities, like... Oh, that would be weird. You think? Well, I mean, they kind of played around with that concept. Um, when we had the Marvel season, you have like the different superpowers. Mm, mm. Yeah, uh, true. But like, I don't know. I mean, like, it'd be kind of cool. Like, maybe they could do different members of the seven. Like, the different seven members of different. Maybe it's powers. an LTM. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. For the main BR, that'd be kind of wild. But it, they, we've already done stuff like it, so I, I don't see why they wouldn't. They could. Yeah, like, I mean, in Apex, like, I, I, I do enjoy, like, um, Pathfinder. You know, you can have, like, the grappling hook and, like, there's all these different, like, powers that are not really that, like, OP, but they're more of just, like, tactical. Yeah, like, every character has their own unique play style, you know, and depending yeah. on what kind of player you are, you choose that character. These guys are going with you. Nice. This guy up top here, he's looking at you. Okay. I landed bottom floor. Oh, he's dropped down. Oh my god, dude! Who the heck are you? Oh my god, he gets well, one shot. He gets one shot. Clark, I have an idea. What is it? I have an idea. What is it? No, Dag, this is this is a new low even for you, man. Come on, stop. Dag. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, what are you doing? <laughs> I forgot how to use them. See what happens? See what happens? Are you clipped? Clip TikTok chat is gonna be a new TikTok. <laughs> clipped. Unbelievable. Don't use balloons. Re ready up. Moral of the story. Ready up. We're, oh, not, yeah. we're not going out like that. That's, okay. That's cool. that's insane. <laughs> this is why you don't use balloons. <laughs> Dag, well, we didn't get beam though. Wait, what? Surprisingly, 
surprised didn't get beat. You should, wait, you are surprised what didn't get beat? I didn't get beamed out of the sky like I thought I would. I mean... I mean, yeah. But yeah. the so also... Bones are a sore subject with me. You know, if we had bubble shields, you know, this would have been way better. <laughs> Bro, we didn't like balloons when they first came in the game. We're like, what is the point of this? <laughs> like, I remember, I remember back in chapter one, Pleasant Park, dude was just like, we're like, where's the last guy? He's on, he's on, he's on balloons. Like, at max height. <laughs> like, what the hell does he think he's doing? Jeez. I mean, never like balloons, bro. No, it's just, it's literally just a meme. RC is LOL dag is literally free, literally. RC's calm down, bro. Right? Right? 1v1 dag right now, you won't. No balls, bro. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it. This man said, watch Jagerton on Wednesday last time, saying, dog. I saw. I might. I just might watch Jagerton on Wednesday. I might just do it. Why stream? What's up, man? RC is also called me free. Wow, bro. Won't be one me right now, bro. You won't. <sighs> it's only seven o'clock. I'm gonna relax. Dad, what do you like doing outside of video game shit? Like, what do you what do you do? Bro? Like, what's your thing? Uh, I like making videos, like uh, like uh, films and stuff. So I work at this like uh. uh like a uh, basically like production company to make like commercials, music videos, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what I like to do there, and then I also do some of it in my own free time, like you know, filming stuff around the city or stuff like that. So you like making short films? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I've made a couple of those um, different, like kind of running gun, like fake commercial things. And, yeah, bro, just work for fun. See, that makes, that make, you know, you and my brother would get along so well, because he loves, like, that was our thing. That's how we met, like, the stop motion thing. Like, he was in the Transformer stop motions, offered to do some voice work. We just became, like, real close. And then he's not, my, like, my biological brother. Like, we call each other brothers, but we're just, like, super, like, really good friends, super close. But we shot a short film together a few years ago, and we premiered it at, like, a movie theater out here and everything. It was, it was really dope. Sick. Sick, yeah. I got a lot of I love I love film as well. That's cool. Um, That's sick, yeah. Yeah, I'm currently editing a, a podcast for uh this one of the actors from uh one of the new Harry Potter films. Really? Yeah. So I'm doing like his episodes. He's also um I, I assume you've seen the Godfather, right? Uh, I've never seen it but I know exactly what the Godfather is, but I'm trash movies. <laughs> I said I love oh, yeah, he's a, there's like they made this like they made this like, Paramount Plus series about like the making of the Godfather recently. Uh -huh. um, he's also in in that as like one of the like, leads. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been cool. So that's like your main passion, then is it like it's film, right? It's like film, film, yeah. Honestly, it's probably close to close to content. I don't know which I like better. Well, they like kind both. of bleed into each other, you know. They do. They do. They do. And that's why, like, whenever you see probably, like, one of my, like, sponsors something. I mean, I, I do, like, low-key make it feel too much like an ad sometimes, but that's just because I like, like, the marketing aspect of it. Like, I like, I don't know. I like, I like making, like, commercials and stuff, too. Like, yeah. I could tell that your camera work was really good. Um, like you put a lot of effort into it. Mm hmm Hold on a second. There's a mic. I'm with, I'm with. Yeah. Oh, right below us. I need a better gun. Literally. See, this is this right. There's two down here. Oh okay, god! Oh god! That. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that's all you had. I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, one, one more. One more. When I said bad guns, I meant. Bro, like, damn! I had no idea this was. Bro, tell me. Bro, you gotta tell me, like, bro, all I got is a revolver. Or, like, here, take my SMG. <laughs> like, that was horrible. I, I looted the entirety of, an, of a building. I, that's all I got. Bring back 100% chest. Oh, I know I'm not gonna be called a, become a pro Fortnite player anytime soon. That dream has definitely been killed tonight. <laughs> 
That's cool, man. It sounds like you got a lot of ambition, obviously, outside of this content stuff. That's neat. Yeah, yeah. But where, wherever it, it, it takes you, man, I think you'll you'll do well. You, you're you very, like, like I said, I've already seen your camera work. I'm like, he understands, like, film. He understands camera. Like, I could see it just by, like, so, like your G Fuel videos or, you know, your <laughs> NVIDIA video. I'm like, okay, this, yeah. this is, like, he does really good camera work, so... Thank you, thank you. Yeah, man. That's, that's awesome. Stepping stones, bro. Everything, everything kind of like works off each other. Like the, the, I know for a fact, even when it comes to like the stop motions, because that's, that's how my brother did it. This is a, just like he just did a bunch of stop motions, you know, and then right. he started experimenting with like actual short films and stuff. And he started working on, he worked on, what, what project did he work on out here? It was, um, I think it was the not the Walking Dead. Was it the Walking Dead? I can't remember. Oh no, Z Nation. That's what it is. We have Z Nation. I don't know if, if you ever heard of it. It's like another zombie series. It's, like a, it's a zombie thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's filmed out in my part of the country, and it that's what he um, he worked on the set of Z Nation for a couple of years. So he learned a lot. Cool. Say. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, bro. If, if, yeah, if they make a Fortnite movie, I gotta, I gotta get get on that. <laughs> Although it'll it'll probably be animation style. So voice acting. <laughs> bro, I'd love to be a voice actor in a in some kind of Fortnite. Imagine they get like a bunch of famous TikTokers to voice characters, <laughs> like this island, like like loopers. On the yeah, map. yeah. That'd be sick. Ninja was uh is voicing in some project. He was in um Free Guy. I don't know if you saw that. What's Free, what's free Guy? Ryan Reynolds video game movie. Oh. Ninja was in that Pokemon. Um, yeah. What do they do? Like how long, like they have like minor role? Yeah, it was it was just like cameo. Playing themselves, yeah. Oh, okay. Very easy, but yeah, I have a mad shield for us. Did I miss one? How did I do this every time? Dag, you know, you were... Man. If I didn't know better, you were trying to get me killed out here, bro. Right here. Where are you getting pulled up on? Alright. This pop has got sheep. Wow, okay. I wouldn't have even hit that shot anyway. Oh my god, I'm just gonna install the game. <laughs> that guy quit. Chat, you can all follow Dag. He'll take care of you from now on. I'm, I'm garbage. Can't play anymore. <laughs> Hand over the channel. <laughs> Where, wait, hold on. Isn't there another? It's quiet. It's too quiet. <laughs> Someone's gonna be like in this building over here, I think. Huh. Oh, there was other people. Yeah, Mark, Mark. Yep, what oh, I said. Yep. yep. Yeah, let's get up top. Oh, wait. Come here, Naruto. Come here. Come here. These nice. two different people? Two different teams? He's getting away the battle bus. Kidding. Well, Dag, I know it's against your policy to shoot them, so I won't, I won't force it you to do something you're is. not comfortable with. I can't with. do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got in the tank. Oh, Lord. Alright. What are you going to do? Crack him, crack him. Hey, Come on, sir. I got you. Wait, another dude in the tank. Oh my gosh, nice. See, I can only move tanks forward and backwards. I can't move them side to side. Oh, yeah, because of your keybinds? Yeah. Destroy objects on the vehicle. Huh. Might have to hit the shield. Go ahead. Oh my gosh, this recording is going to be 2 hours and 45 minutes. It's going to be... 
<laughs> I'm just gonna edit the first hour. The, the actual podcast part is about an hour fifteen. So. Okay. Yeah. Actually, what you I'm doing thinking, all, all one recording? No, I think I'm gonna keep the live stream up as the main podcast, and then what I'll do is I'll have um, smaller clips, like the like the different topics we talked about. I'll, like I'll keep that in uh, smaller segments and upload those, so that'll be like content for like the next week. That'll be good. So. Oh yeah, like a mini playlist almost, or yeah. Yeah. Man, I got gray guns. Dude, you are hurting right now. Sorry. I am. Actually, I, I'm not doing too much better. I got all I got. It. The only blue weapons I have are the... Actually, what am I, I got the laser sniper. I forget what it's called. Oh, yeah, the... the God, the rail gun. Jeez. I got the, uh, the recon. Got so broken. Gun. I love it. I, I'm, you know, I'm kind of sad that we can't shake people down. Mm. Like I miss being able to do that. Like that was fun. It was really helpful, but I can also understand it from like the solo being chased out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Did they? Did that guy die to a bot? What? Is the bot trying to find this guy? Oh, he's right here. There's no way. There's no- Fortnite, you're killing me. This guy? Yeah, there's another guy. 45 white? Oh wait, that was a bot. Oh my god. He has a pad above you. Or no, he's not here. Yeah, we're getting- Let's use, his la Let's uh, use their slow. launch pad. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, I need to get out. No, sir. They put, they put Sloan and Huntmaster Saber right next to Yeah, I know. They knew what they were doing. <laughs> Try hard. Let's, I'm gonna hit the slurp truck. Alright. Dag, how do you take more damage than me, but on average, we're like, Oh my gosh, I just got. You, you triggered the Huntmaster guy. <laughs> <laughs> you did like a. Wolverine spin on me. Wow, so you're blaming me for your problems? Okay, Doug, I don't know this. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh, is it Sloan just teleport over here? Why do I hear her? Oh, yeah, wow. she, oh, yeah she's by the gas can. Unless... That big thing. Let's get out of here. Oh, okay. Lord. See, this is not... It's not what I wanted. NPCs, right. <laughs> Bro, just take him out, man. That's another thing that's adding lag to the game. Oh, yeah. Are they in competitive? I think they took him out, right? Oh. Uh, I don't remember. I don't think they're in competitive. I know they just removed cars from competitive. Yeah, I think that's temporary, I'm not sure if it's though. permanent. Yeah, I think it's temporary. I think the cannons got removed, too. Hmm. But I think you can you still launch yourself or is it just like the actual like the actual cannon part cannon you can't ball. fire but I think you can actually fire yourself out of it. Got it, got it. Oh man. Wait, we're going away from Zelda. Hold on. We gotta go back. We are. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Got it. Big brain moves. Guys down there, we can land on. Let's do it. He's gonna. He's going above his head, so we can't hit. Travis Scott. Well, he had balloons, you know. Oh my God. Ow. Right left side. Damn. Damn. Hey Clark, remember you used to be good at this game? Yeah, man, I know. Yeah. Get back to that. I'll try. Next to you. <laughs> there we go. That's the old Clark. Let's go. Get thrown off! Yes, toxic! <laughs> oh god, it's teammates landing. Oh, there he is. Get him. We got him, we got him, we got him. Hang on. Oh, sh. <laughs> I got him, I got him. Good work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How did that guy not die after I threw him? What? 
right. Oh, I thought it was gonna. Oh, I thought I was at the shallow part of the water. I was gonna cry. You did not just think of a balloon. <laughs> Get out of the lobby. Back yeah. I'm not doing this. Hey man, we could actually win this one, you know? Like, look. We could, we could. We could this up here. Hey, I got splashes, by the way. Totally forgot to point that out. Sorry, I found some coconuts. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you think they should? Oh, yeah. So you were telling me about before? <laughs> yeah, it's like the season's about to end. What this week or next week? Bro, they always do that. Like they always have some cool stuff that you want in the game. Like, oh, with two days left of the season. It's like, what? Really? <laughs> Is it gonna come back next season? Nope. Probably not for another at least six months. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> all right, Fortnite. Well, thanks. Yeah. Okay, least there are people. Least. Okay, actually east. We least is the one that goes around. Reboot. Uh, right here, yeah. yeah we should probably ping this guy. Okay, let, let me get to where you. Okay, no. Bullet, knock one. I am I am I am free. Try land on him? Oh no, you, you're, you're, you're weak. I'm pushing anyway. Yeah, He's over here. Got him. Right. Who's rebooting? Hold on. Should we, should we let him? No. Yeah. Kill this guy. <laughs> oh, car rolling up on me. Bye. Like, thanks for playing, bro. Oh, that's what I was gonna ask you. Yo, are you gonna get that a multiverses game when it comes out? I heard of that. I haven't looked into it. Bro, it's like Smash Bros, but like uh, Warner Brothers characters. So like, Here, Clark, try to get away. Try to get away. Okay, I'm rotating. Yeah. Oh god. Oh god, they're landing on me. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm probably dead here, dude. GG's. Crash one of them. Okay. Oh god, I thought that was you. Thank you. Oh, scared me. Where are they? They're colliding. Hold on. I'm Oh my god, no. Land, land, land! Hey, let me heal you. Thanks, Brit. Yep. Wow, this is the best we've played. <laughs> it is, it is. Oh wait, it's not looted here. Wait, uh, what? follow me, follow me. Do you, do you know about these coolers? What? Here, here, look. Go in that truck right now. Go in that truck. What the heck? Place, place on the phone. Look oh at this. Oh my. What? <laughs> if I hadn't known about this in the tournament, bro, I would have landed here every time. <laughs> Jack, why did you make a video on this? this I can't believe you. I would have won. <laughs> <laughs> I should have, yeah. Jack, let me. Here's the most OP place to land at the collider. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh. Classic. Here, I'm going to hit this pad. I'm going to move. Still landing in a bush, I guess. Okay. Oh, I guess Columbo might come back. I know they've been. His holes have been all over. Doc, I, I don't even care about Columbo. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, You're okay. my daddy, so I killed my dog. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't, I don't care for him. <laughs> Get the view. Yeah. Yeah. Pulling the mountain. We should probably just chill up here. I'm, I'm down. Win this game. Camping a one by one on a hill. OG strat. <laughs> yes. W. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm trolling, but I'm. Oh uh, no, dude! Just... I know you're not. I'm. I'm down there with you. Let's go. Good. Who thinks? How much? Hey, how much does one of these cannons do to a actual thing? Fifty? You trying to tell me That's that heavy it? does six hundred? This way does fifty. Oh, I just hit him 100. People gliding, watch out. Oh, what the? On us? Uh, sure. There's tanks right here. There's tanks here. Get him. We gotta kill this guy. Oh, footsteps, footsteps, right here. He's... 
I'm trying to come up. Oh, wait, I think they're in the mountain. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, Lord, here we go. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Clingers? What are clingers? Um, it's the, it's the sniper rifle that has it. Oh, yeah. Am I, am I, dude, MK is not a five red play. They're both cracked. I know. Door park is done. Fuck out, look out. Bro, I don't they, they y'all just wanna get beaten, don't you? Yep. Oh, cracked with the other guys, bro. Thirty-two. We're so annoying. <laughs> this is good. I keep up the pressure. That's right, run out of mats. Right side, right side. 32 again. Oh, yeah. Dude, how? Crack them. Nice. <laughs> Which one? The one on the left? Oh, wait, hold on. Right, right. Oh, y'all are. Oh, y'all are. Is this tank? Yeah. <laughs> you have a pad. Uh, Actually, do. we can hit bomb, though. Oh, guys, we're taking on us right now. Oh. Beam, beam. Oh, shit. Right here. Got him. Get him. Good nice. work, good work. Slide down, slide down. Watch your back. Oh, yeah, he's going to try to go for the res. Nah, nah, found. He's going to hit the combo. He's going to hit the combo. That's right, leave your teammate. Imagine. <laughs> Dad, have you ever do that to All me? Right. I'm going to the community. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that team came from the mountain that we were on. Whatever. Zone. Here, wait. You want to land up here? Yeah, yeah. Here? Smart move. Smart move. There's a guy, There's a guy to our left. Team to our left. Yep. It will be... Ah! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. Right here. Knocked. Nice. Good Careful. Somebody's landing. People, people landing up. Coming yep. up, coming up. He's right here. Right here. Guys, oh, yeah. Hold on a second, keep hiding. Box him, box him, box him. Oh, this is my. Oh, watch out. Other oh, people up top. Watch out. Box up, box up, box up. Oh, my. Fortnite. I'm with you, I'm with you. Good work. With you. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, dude. Nice. Yeah. Oh, it's us in the last two teams. Oh, right here. Up tops are going to be our biggest. Yeah, yeah. Here, I'm going to try to find an angle. Oh. Hold on, drop. I got drop, 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 drop. Here, come on you, come on you. Here. Right here. It's a solo, it's a solo on here. This guy over here is a bullet. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh no, 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 no. I'm, I might go down. Yeah, I'm down, I'm down, I'm down. Damn. I did not. Oh my god, that's so busted. Let me get up. I have a splash. Please, Lord. Oh my god, I have splashes as well. We got this, we got this. Right. Go ahead. Oh no, we gotta get out! I got hit once. Oh, yeah. I think we go for height. I think we need height. I can't. Oh my god. So I'm stuck. I'm going for it, Clark. I'm going for height. Alright, bro. Go I ahead. I need this. I got it. I got it. I got height. I got height. I wanna play low ground for a minute. There's a guy like right here. Oh my god, I had him! Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just camping up here. You think? Do you have any more heals or no? Uh, four minis. Okay, yeah, actually, I need to get up to you then. Is there anybody okay. above you? Yeah, yeah, there's a, there's a guy right here. Uh, He's got to edit on me. Hold on. 
we're like 1v1ing on height. We might be able to sneak up to him. Yeah, bro. Hang on, actually, he knows I'm here now. Okay, good, you're right here. I think he, he may have dropped. Mini, here. mini, 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 mini. Yeah, I think he's dropping. I he think did. they're gonna chop it. Oh, we're, hey, we're in zone. We got this. Oh, wait, so. Wait, how many people are left? It's a 1v1v2, bro. It's two solos. It's two solos. We nice. Win. As long as we don't get dropped out, I'm kind of scared. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Why am I building with wood? Oh my god, do I even Fortnite? Wow. Chat, why didn't you guys tell me? They're chopping. I, he I hear them. Are I they? Them. Oh, my god. I'm dropping. I'm dropping. Yeah. Slightly. Go slow. Here. You wanna? Yeah, let's do it. Let's find this guy. Here, me. Got it. I got it. Give me a hand. Nice! Ooh. Let's, let's go! go! Let's go! <laughs> oh my gosh! Good stuff. We're young Dak won me too! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to lobby. Hey, how many kills do you have? I have four, but listen. You got the no, 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 bro. I'm not. I'm not gonna talk crap. Okay. Hey, man. You you held it down. You came in with the splashes, threw the minis. Bro, I would have yeah. been dead. Well, that cooler, that cooler saved us. Those oh. coolers back at Collider. Bro, bro, that cooler was five head. I had no idea. I gotta tell. I gotta tell my cousin where that's at. That's amazing. Oh. A great spot. GGS, man. That was. Gosh. <laughs> I couldn't ask for a more W stream, man. This was fun. <laughs> this was legit. <laughs> Uh, bro. Yeah, super fun. I'd I'd be down to play some games again, or you know, talking Fortnite when the new season drops. Whatever. Bro, know? I'm down to do whatever, man. What do you What are you doing for the season? You got a squad you already rolling with for the season? Uh, when I stream, I yeah, mostly either just play with my my friend Furious, but um, either that or, or Birdo. But yeah, I definitely have some need need more people to play with. So yeah. Yeah, man. Let me know. We can. I'm definitely down to run with you more often if you if you're down. You can put up with me. So you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's do it for sure bro well all right i'm gonna get off dog this was amazing thank you so much for take, taking your valuable time to to run with me and be a part of the podcast i think chad enjoyed it so you know and yeah, super fun bro yeah man and i'm gonna put the put the videos up and everything see so if you want send everybody send your audience to them so they can check you out and see a discussion for sure yeah man so. for sure yeah all right bro i appreciate you ggs you too all right man have a good rest of your night peace bro Oh man, chat. Dagwummy's lit. <laughs> Dagwummy is dope, bro. Oh my goodness. I I you know, Dag and and Jojo too. Shout out to Jojo. Jojo didn't have as much time to spend uh today, but man, um it was awesome to have him and Dag on. I both respect them both. They're both amazing content creators. They're both good at what they do. And I just, I have, I like I said, I have the utmost respect for both of them. They're they're awesome people. So Dag, you know, here's the thing about Dag too. Dag has taught me a lot in my journey of content creation. Like he's he's done a lot for me personally. Like he's always giving me good tips. Like when it comes to not, not just Fortnite stuff, but just like content creation, how to handle certain things as a content creator. He's a awesome person to just have in your circle. So anyway, that is today's stream. I love you guys. I apologize. I was not uh, more active with you guys in chat, but I was just so focused on, you know, making sure these guys are taken care of, making sure that we're having a good conversation, a good dialogue, so that you guys have, you know, an awesome podcast to listen to. I think even the post podcast, you know, after the fact, when me and Dagger are just playing the game and just talking, I think that was there's a lot of valuable stuff there, especially if you're looking to become a content creator. He gave some really good tips. So, anyway, um, can I access your friend request? Maybe I don't know. Well, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, I I love you guys. I'm going to get off for the evening. And uh, if I stream again, it'll probably be on Friday or Saturday. Okay? So, all right, guys. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And uh, there should be more content coming out this week.